G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more ACS modding. Uh, on Saturday night, I worked through a little bit of getting some extra space drones with some extra weapons on them. Thanks, Charlie, for that. Right during my intro. You're a real joker, aren't you? Hmm? <laughs> Dang dog. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Uh, so, the the next thing to do was to um, upgrade the atmospheric drones in a similar sort of fashion. Obviously, the atmospheric drones are not going to get railguns, nor are they going to get uh, the larger cannons, like the artillery cannons and things like that, which can provide uranium, because that would be bad. But this was, this was kind of the next step of things I needed to do for ACS because this is what's required for me to step up the difficulties so we don't just have civilian and easy. We got civilian, easy, medium, hard. Once those are set up, I'll go on to the next thing, which I can't remember what that is. Uh, where was that to? Uh, high difficulty drones, add large good drones. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, then I have to figure out the inhibitors. That's the next thing after that. Um, so in chat, people are talking about the difference between this version and the version that's currently on the workshop. This version, as has been mentioned many times, this one has... This one gives the player the ability to choose when they start the fight. Unlike the old one, which did not. Um, uh, much as I like this design that Pav came up with, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to keep the squid, actually. Nor my old cat's ball one. They're both a bit too brutal. Uh, yeah, they're both a bit too brutal. They're both have a bit too much weight to them. Um, the problem with large weight drones is perfectly exemplified with this one. Uh, it crashes onto your base and destroys your base through being big, not through actually winning the fight, which is not fun. Not fun at all. So we'll get rid of those. Uh, Ragnarok, I'm not really sure how I would theme them. The drones are intentionally very small, and so there's not really theming options. <laughs> it's It has guns. It has a battery. It has some shaped armor around it. I guess you could color them so that, like, they starts with blue and goes up to, well, I guess, pink for the matching the Jexum's style of build. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Could work. Hmm. That's the only really real way I can think of theming it. But the thing is, um, the way I'm generating more difficulty here is actually by having more drones. Not by having drones that are more difficult to fight. Because I want to avoid that heavy, particularly in space, I want to avoid that heavy drone. Um, so, to have something more difficult, I'd need to have multiple of that one. Which I guess I could do. I could have all my dual spawns be... my double or triple spawns be of the ones that are the harder variants. Hmm. Dang it. Uh, Ragnarok, uh, no. I definitely cannot do that. <laughs> I do not think I can make them 
fall away from the base that they're about to hit. That is 100% what I cannot do. <laughs> Other people might be able to do it, but I... No, nah, I'm not even going to bother approaching that one. Um, heavy weapons are for taking out larger stuff. Small weapons with high fire rates are designed for taking out these. I don't see the problem. <laughs> it may be cinematic for it to drift out of control, but nope. What these drones do, once they lose enough, uh, like if they if they take damage to their remote control, they explode, leaving minimal shrapnel to hit your base and minimal stuff to hit the ground. That's how I want them to be and that's how they're going to stay. Um, I have numerous reasons for that and I don't want to mess with that side of things. The colour on the different ones does interest me though. Hmm. I'm interested in that idea. Might put that as a thing down here. <laughs> Ragnarok, you can push the point, but it's not going to change my answer. <laughs> It's not being done. They're staying as they are. Uh, theme. Drones by color. Relative to difficulty. Maybe. That's a maybe. So, for the Atmo drones, we've pretty much, weapon-wise, only got um, rocket launchers and autocannons. Potentially not even rocket launchers because platinum and uranium in missiles, but I think rocket launchers are probably okay because the amount you get from them is so minuscule it's just not a problem. I think I'll leave the mosquito as is with just its little... Oh, actually, no, let's have an autocannon mosquito. Fair enough, Ragnar. Fair enough. Uh. Now it really looks like a mosquito with a proboscis. That's kind of why I wanted to do this, because I realized as soon as I put an auto cannon on this thing, it's going to look like it's about to suck your blood. And Jackson said the same, exact same thing in the comments, uh, just as I said it. <laughs> um, Mayfly. Which, let's not take a variant of the Mayfly. Its design's a bit to add things to in a nice fashion. The wasp, though. Oh, no. Nightbot is confused. I need to fix Nightbot. <laughs> Whoops. Forgot to turn off the thing from the sponsored stream the other night. <laughs> uh... Do, 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 do. There we go. That should be fixed now. Uh, 
Whoops. I mean, I could just make auto cannon variants of each of these, but that feels a bit boring. I feel like. Let's go with. Wait, which way around does this thing point? Is it that way? Or is it that way? It's that way, isn't it? I don't want that one then. I'll go with the traditional one. <laughs> Enjoy your Lego space shuttle, Tincho. I still haven't built mine. But more progress is still being made on the Lego setup. I have unfortunately discovered, though, that I have to fix some network issues that are quite severe for down in my garage. As in losing connection every... What was it, Jax? It was like every 45 minutes I was losing connection. Which is not great. Not really suitable for streaming from. needs a cannon on the behind. I don't know that they can target with cannons on the back end. I think that'll kind of do. It's a real it's a real challenge with uh, atmospheric stuff to make something that's especially mean without it being well some, it's a real challenge in atmosphere to make something that looks different, that has enough armor to survive, but also doesn't have so much armor that it causes damage to your voxels. In space, I don't care, which is why in space, I've got the large grid drones that'll be coming along for the fight. Um, because having this crash into something in space is, meh, no big deal might hit an asteroid or it might just hit nothing and there's a good chance it'll hit nothing so we can have large grid drones and spice things up with that whereas on in atmosphere if this thing came after you that would be a problem because the weight just the sheer weight of it hitting you will just break everything Uh, yeah, Ragnarok. The, the the idea of the harder spawns is that you won't just you won't just get this drone. You'll get maybe one of these and one of these and one of these. So you'll you'll have multiple vectors of attack as well. So it makes it a lot harder for you to fight them off because you'll have to pick them all off before then you can go back to your main target. That's the concept behind it, anyway. Um, so, I might just name these things, like, Mark II, rather than... Actually, I'll use a number two, because that'll make it easier. Rather than trying to come up with new names for them, because I, th I think that'll make my life easier. Hey, thanks to the Scarecrow. Thanks for 17 months of Prime. Um... I... 
don't think you oh, I don't I don't think you can set the targeting priorities of the drones uh, the way that you can set targeting priorities of turrets um, I think Lucas just has them targeting in a set order there might be a way to do it but I'm not I'm not familiar with one Usually this is when TFE pipes up in chat and says, no, no, you can do it. You can do it this way. Yeah. But I don't think he's here yet. <laughs> I think it's still too early in the morning for him. Mm. I think I will telegraph what type they are. It'll also help for testing. Oh. <laughs> uh, Dragnon, I've... I've gone back and forth on the traps idea with the ships and stuff in ACS and I just... I still, I still don't know what is the right thing. Um, like the the traps rarely work, uh, which is part of the thing. Most of the traps that I've done have actually been behavior changes that the grids will do some of the time. Um, I don't really have any good ideas of how to do that sort of thing with lock-based traps in a way that's interesting and not just a once-off, oh, that thing got me. But I know exactly how it works now. Um. <laughs> yeah, even... Most Aussies don't go to work at 7. It's either 8 or 9. <laughs> but um, despite that, TFE is usually up relatively early. Uh, at night time, they look pretty dark. Uh, the neon gives them some visibility. Just the idea. Bumblebee class drone. I suppose if I make one something that looks really round and plump, it could be a bumblebee. Uh, I didn't put any neon tubes on any of them because... I'd have to then feel like I'd want to put them on all of them, and I didn't want to put them on all of them. I'm just looking at these thinking about whether I can come up with another way. Uh, no, Ragnarok. Um, matching drones to planets I'm not going to do, because uh, trying to do that for modded planets and the variety of modded planets it sounds like a whole lot of unnecessary work. And I feel like the party pooper today, because everything that's being suggested is stuff that's, and I'm like, oh boy, that's going to be a lot of work. That's a no. <laughs> I like some of these ideas, it's just, I, I have to find the balance between stuff that I think I can get done in a reasonable time frame and stuff that I think is cool. Like, that's why this list now has a bunch of post-launch stuff. I'm probably not going to do paint randomization. I'm actually going to get rid of that. I don't... I like to have my colors specifically chosen and planned out and have the thing look a particular way. So I won't do that one. Uh, but stuff like the AI enabled, fixing it up so that that can work with it 
asteroid bases I want to do at some point. Um, maybe I'll add the data pads to randomizer. And then adding some extra behaviors for different ships and things like that. And as Drago asked the other day, I will some point after the release thing make sure that some of the ships work with the aerodynamics mod so that you can have a set that do. Because there's a flag in the spawn groups that you can set to say that it is effective with it. Um, yeah. Um, I don't think that you're likely to get effective autopilot behavior with the current systems available if you use merge blocks to split grids into multiple grids. Um, I suspect that only one grid will end up keeping its AI and the rest will just be static, and the work that would go into trying to make more of them um, take that on would be prohibitive. Uh, you could kind of fake having a swarm come out of a single ship by despawning the original ship or spawning a swarm from the original ship. Uh, there are ways with um, MES that you can have drones appear at a very specific location on a grid with a velocity to them as well, I think. So you can make it look like they're launching out of a hangar. Um, Ragnarok, the territory thing is possible for setting up with MES. It's very fiddly last I looked at it. And Lucas was reworking it. I don't know whether he's completely finished the rework on that. Uh, but it's more for setting up scenarios than it is for setting up a general mod. Because you kind of... You're very much tied to what exists in your scenario. For setting up that stuff. Like the Agoras at War style of thing. Where specific things spawn in specific areas. It, so I'd like to do that for a scenario. But for this mod to be more generic and applicable across anyone's game, I'm not sure I can do that. Hey, Satan's Ace. Uh, yeah. Historio, the... There'll be a version of this, hopefully, that I can get to work on Xbox. Well, Laws, these won't make huge craters around your mountain base. These drones rarely crater. Most of the time, these drones just explode. It is a neat concept having specific things spawn in specific areas. Completely agree, Ragnarok. I wish it was an easier thing to set up in a procedural fashion. Because um, it, would, it would add so much to your general playthrough. Um... Oh yeah, Laws, the, those drones are, those drones are the old ones, they're, they were ones I deleted at the start of this stream. <laughs> These are, this is the entire set of atmospheric drones in the version that will be released soon. Um, what I might do is start integrating them and then we can test them. Um, my stuff on Mod.io is under Splitzy, so it, the stuff that I've published there is there, but 
frequently, uh, if you've watched any of my Blueprint publishing streams, Mod.io doesn't work for me, and so stuff doesn't always make it there. Plus, I do tend to use a fair few scripts, uh, which Mod.io doesn't like. That's not what I meant to press. Um, Bezareal. Yes, you could use um, projector blocks to do things like making something look like it has a shield, making that sort of stuff happen. However, there are massive performance issues with that. Um, moving projectors are not nice to sim speed. They, they do very unpleasant things to sim speed. Uh, as seen when in Wrong Way Up, Kanajashi was flying over with his projected uh, goose, Canadian goose thing. Which is amusing as Laws brought up the exact same example just then. <laughs> Grid name. Uh, Kill Dani, I have no estimates on when we might next play Rimworld, um, nor what settings we might use when we do it. Um, we're playing SnowRunner at the moment and having fun with it, so we'll probably stick with that for a while. <laughs> yeah, kids, this is one of Jexum's designs and uh, one of the reasons why I'm so enamored with them in general. The pink offsets the blue really nicely. I was tempted to go with the same color scheme as the smaller drones, but I, th I feel like the Fight Bright would lose some of its soul if I did that, so I decided not to. What are you doing, dog? Actually, that's a fair point. The pink does work in space quite nicely. I wonder. I'm just gonna see. It's gonna be a bit of a pain to do, but I wonder how these are gonna look. How these look in pink? Just to change up the space ones. So I've kind of messed with Charlie's plans for escape. What I've done is I've put a heavy box in front of the door so she can press that button as many times as she likes and it won't do anything. No! Please. Good job. Maybe miss some paint, Charlie. It's not helpful. Hmm. 
think I've, 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 I have some vague feeling of having done this before and painted these in pink before. Something I want to look up for that door lock is to f see if there's actually a way to um, turn off the voice. Oh yeah, it does look better in the blue because of the blue thrusters. Because on the small grid the thrusters are a bigger part of the grid. You can, Galenor? How the heck do you do that? How do you repaint the all the things on a grid with the paint gun? Just need a smiley mouth under it. I know. I was kind of thinking of this as the poking out tongue with that being the nose. I like it in pink. Um, I think just because the thrusters are so much more prevalent, whereas on this one, you can the thrusters aren't in the pink sections, so I think it works still. Shift control. Let's try. It. Paint gun, hotkeys, pick color mode, instant color pick, replace color mode. Shift C cube size mode. What? What does that even mean? Uh, you can't change the thruster plumes to pink, no. Ah, shift R. Ah. Right, the key bind... I didn't know what the key bind was for changing grid size mode. Um. Okay, cool. That's really cool. I'm hoping I remember that. Yeah, the there are colorable there are colorable modded thrusters out there. In fact, the ACS thrusters, the special thrusters that'll be coming with this version of the mod, they have specific colors. Uh, I just didn't want to use them on the drones themselves because I want the ships to be able to kind of be transferable across to an Xbox version of the mod without too much pain. Okay, we should have all these named correctly now. So let's export them. Uh. Mm. I kind of need to rename these things. I've named them all wrong. That's annoying gonna be something to fix. I had been starting to name things AI instead of ACS at one stage and I think that was a mistake because I was gonna rename the mod to assertive interactions but I preferred just sticking with the ACS thing in the end. I'm gonna rename these.
Oh, dang it. Press OK. I do that so often. And exit menus in Space Engineers without pressing OK and pressing Escape to get out of the menu. And then realize I have to do the thing again. Which is especially annoying when you do it um, for your mod lists. So you have to go and load up the whole mod menu again. Alright, one sec. I'm just going to let Charlie out so that she can stop trying to chew at the door. Please? Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Don't know how much you guys could hear if I was just doing a um, cartoon style acceleration then. <laughs> she slipped on my floor. Uh, where was up to? More of these. Rename. Takari, a lot of the cargo ships will have a little bit of space cash in them. Um, generally speaking, though, my attitude is the grid itself is your prize. But these drones, these drones are meant to explode. They're not meant to give you anything. Sometimes they do, uh, you can get lucky, but most of the time they'll just explode and annihilate everything that's inside them. There's no warhead or anything, it's actually a scripted explosion that causes enough damage to annihilate nearly all the blocks. Alright, back to exporting them so that I can then import the, add them to the mod. Side note, this is my first stream ever where I'm using my standing desk. Ah, uh, the spaceships aren't supposed to kamikaze. I don't think I've enabled any ramming behaviors on them. My intended balance scenario is vanilla, which means no shields, which means ramming attacks would be brutal. Well, most of the, for the most part, my standing desk has been used for being an appropriate height sitting desk. Uh, being a taller person, uh, being able to have it at the right height for me, for my chair being at the right height without having my knees squished under the desk, uh, is what it mostly gets used for. But I've only recently re-cabled it so that I can transition between the two without too much trouble. <laughs> Two meters would be very tall, Art Laugh. I am comfortably above average for Australia, which I think puts me at just slightly above average for the Dutch. Uh, 
Um, One eighty-seven. Last I was measured. Yeah, six footsies and three toes. About that. Uh, last I looked it up, Black Shadow the Dutch male average was pretty close to mine. As in my height. Yeah. Oh no, I I'm reasonably taller than the average. Here we go. Average height. Average male height, 183.78 for the Netherlands. So I'm taller than average even over there. Why have they given the male height in centimetres and the female height in inches? What insanity is that? Why are they... Ugh. That's... That's making me unnecessarily irate. <laughs> <laughs> Dex, what what is that? I can't remember what that's from. But there's two things I can't stand: intolerance for other people's. It it reminded to everyone in the chat. Dex's comment is actually a quote from something. I just can't think of what it's a quote from, and it's a joke. <laughs> Oh, that's is that Austin Powers? Oh, Austin Powers three, yes. Actually, yeah, that sounds right. There's two things I can't stand: intolerance for other people's cultures and the Dutch. Uh, mods, combat systems. Switch to decimeters like a proper metric enthusiast. Oh, jeez. Those weird in-between measurements. Well, I mean, centimeters itself is a weird in-between in measurement if you're going by um, SI units. Should be millimeters and then meters. No centimeters. But centimeters are a bit more practical at human scale. Uh, export. That's what I was doing. Alright, spawn, groups, drones, ammo. I'm going to do this one at a time so I don't miss any. You want it out, dog? You're out now. Oh, I, I know, I know where centimeter and all that stuff comes from, but the the reality is, well, the the SI then they're a non SI unit. Um. So we got four. Oh dear. Wait a second. The fireflies atmo, right? Oh man. No, the Firefly is space. Did I actually... I thought I exported the Atmo ones, did I not? Huh. Nope.
Hmm. Drones. Oh yes, you can definitely hear birds behind me. And I am plagued by the noisy miner. But I don't think that's the noisy miner that's making all the noise this morning. I think that might be Lorikates, Lara maybe? Oh, like, um... Yeah, I think it might be Rainbow Lorikates. Getting your height in meters per hour. Uh, one sec. You're a monster this morning. Make up your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Firefly drone. Mark two and Mark two. <laughs> okay, there's a there's a there's an unexpected issue of the standing desk. Are uh, they wild birds? Uh, Charlie keeps repeatedly pushing through my legs. Which is upsetting. It's off putting. <laughs> it's off putting, it's not upsetting, it's off putting. Uh, let's get a fight bright across. Uh, the baby guppies. Are the guppies in here yet? No. Well, let's get the guppies in as well. Apparently I didn't rename the Monarch in a way that made it stick. Uh, Charlie is a rescue mutt. She's a bunch of different types of dogs. But she's about 40 kilos of dog. Huh. Why do I have multiple guppy exports there? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Dragnon. I I am gonna have a lot of fun with uh, stuff regarding falling asleep on stream with the two people I'm streaming with shortly. Um, since haven't they both done it? Talking, of course, of Wasted and Kapak having fallen asleep during streams. Should get a sugar glider that can ride on the back of your dog as a tiny furry cow. <laughs> uh, 
every time I think of that stuff, I, stuff like that, I just think of what I'm hoping I get the time to do, um, or uh, Christmas this year. Because I'd like to make Charlie's harness into a saddle and put like a little elf on it. So I think that'll be pretty funny. Well, the way that the two of them do it is by streaming at un just horrendous hours of the night and for, in Wasted's case, very, very long hours. Um, to my mind, given the relationship I have with the two of them, that leaves them very open to be ridiculed for it. Because I know they'd ridicule me for it. So, that's fair. Alright. So those are the correct guppies. Locust, Monarch, Space Wasp. Uh, I'm, I'm missing something on that one, Laws. Exactly. Ari Rashke, if you can't make fun of your friends, who can you make fun of? The standing desk jump scares from Capac become falling assets. <laughs> uh... Hey, Marcus, that's not fair. I've rescued them just as much as they've rescued me in SnowRunner. That's the whole thing, though. It, SnowRunner's a game where you expect everybody to need rescue at some point. Um, you may notice that we haven't really paid out each other that much for the rescue stuff, because I think we all know that we're going to be rescued again. We're going to be rescued soon as well. So it's all going to share um firefly drone let's do the locusts next If you don't need rescuing, are you even playing SnowRunner? Agreed. It very much feels like that. Especially given we're playing in hard mode. And it's it's quite funny. I've been getting lots of comments from people saying um, stuff like, Jeez, you guys are making it so much more difficult than it needs to be. You should be selling off your trailers. You can't sell your trailers in hard mode. You get no money for it. Um, that's easy mode. <laughs> We're intentionally not doing that one. Because Wasted and I like a proper challenge. And Capac's along for the ride. Oh yeah, I properly did muck up with that um, rolling my truck on the beach. That was... I properly got stuck. That was pretty funny. Uh, 
as the other guys start to drive more trucks and fewer scout vehicles, I think we'll end up getting stuck a bit more evenly. Alright, so we got the fight bright. We got the space boss mark two. Monarch Mark II, Locust Mark II, and Firefly Mark II. Now we just gotta add the guppies. But I've also gotta change up these spawns a little bit. Oh, actually, I've messed up. I've messed up. Messed up these spawns. Hang on. Forgot to change the actual prefab that we're all going to spawn as the wrong type. The fight bright was actually going to spawn a firefly mark two. Monarch. Whoops. Thanks, Shuriken. Uh. The way you make money with spare trailers is by giving several to Kapak and leaving him unattended on a road, then coming back and getting paid to clean it up. Oh, if only Kapak paid me to clean up his messes. Alright. So, now I... Now I need to think if... So the way I've done the multi-drone spawns at the moment is I've actually got spawn groups that have multiple drones that come along. Like, this is a triple locust swarm. Um, oh, actually, just realized these are in the wrong segment of this file because I've intended to have individual spawns and then group spawns. So the way I have it work is when one spawn is triggered, you can get all three drones. The upshot of this is all three drones will come from the same direction, which makes them look like a squadron coming in to help, which I kind of prefer. The alternate way of doing it would be to trigger the spawn action more than once from whatever uh, thing you did that triggered the spawn. So um, it would have to be... then then the risk is you'd have drones coming at you from all directions. And while I like that from a combat interest point of view, I don't like it from a story point of view. I feel like it it makes it feel too much like... <laughs> it makes it feel too fake, too gamey. Whereas this makes it, to me, feel a little bit more like a squadron. The downside of this, though, this is very rigid. I have to make a spawn group for each group that comes together um so yeah More difficult. Splitsy builds a base, base in arc, nearly completely blocking the land area on one side of the river. Surprised at all the invaders. At least they spiked up the area now. Hmm. Hey, I built where Kapak wanted to build. I gave him the option. Also, I'm going to switch to seated mode. Let's see if I lose anything with the stream right now. Uh-oh. 
Oh, right. I lost power the other day. I have to... The desk has to go to its full reach before I can put it down. I woke up with my back being sore today, which was really annoying. That's what made me think, I should use the standing desk more. That will be better. Uh, when is the ARC building stream planned? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've collected a whole bunch of stuff already for that build stream. So I've got... Um, I've got a bunch of metal and other bits and pieces so that I've hopefully been able to do. Hopefully been able to, you know, build enough of the blocks that we can put something together relatively quickly. Mavlite, my 3090 is air-cooled. My 3090 passed its cooling test that I did when, I, when my CPU liquid cooler splashed all over my PC. Um... It has no cooling issues. <laughs> yeah, Laws, a lot of that went over my head. I did not know where you were going with that one. And for those watching the VOD on YouTube later, there's a reason I'm not repeating what's being said, because I don't know how it would come out if I said it. <laughs> So I do get comments about, let's see, without the chat, I can't tell what you're talking about. I am trying my best to make that not an issue. Without having extra text on a screen that's full of currently text. Uh. Right. Uh, arc. Maybe Friday morning? Maybe I could do it in the morning before the evening stream. That could work, possibly. Or I could do it after... Station ears. I'll see how much work I get done tomorrow um, to see when I might be able to do it. I don't like to stream on a Wednesday because that's Steam downtime day. Uh, no, I'm not going to do Ark Shenanigans now because... I never know when Wasted and Capac are actually going to show up. It's usually later than I think, but maybe not as late as I think. Uh, and after Station Ears, I, I tend to run a bit long on the Station Ears streams in general, so I'm not sure that's a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I will... I'm going to do my best to fit in, fit one in this week because I do think it would make a bit of a difference to our base if we have it. So, I'm going to stick with my swarm style of spawn rather than having separate ones that can spawn from different directions. Which means what I want to do... Let's create some double spawns and some triple spawns. Instead of stationers this week. It might happen. Maybe. As I said, I'll see I'll see how tomorrow goes in terms of recording and stuff that I want to get done for Survival Impossible, things like that. Um I have a feeling if I go and play Ark to do some building, the stream will go long. So I kind of want to make sure I've got my other stuff that I need to do done before I open myself up to that issue. Capac would, I, I'll be honest, I'm slightly worried that if Capac, I might do that instead just in case, that if Capac transitioned to full-time content creator, 
his rate of content might actually go down. I think the only reason he has a vague schedule is because he works. I've seen how Capac sleeps when he doesn't have a job to make him get up. And it's not good. <laughs> it's really not good. Ah, what have I done? No. There. Stupid numlock being off. Uh, I don't want two fight brights spawning. I want the fight bright to spawn with a locust. Not a baby guppy. Um, maybe a space wasp. Uh, all right. Let's also divide these up a bit. Just thinking through from a gameplay point of view, uh, these will be high difficulty. So that's where the fight bright comes in. And then we need some... I think these locusts... What are the locusts look like? Which ones are these? Were, were these? Were they? Oh, the locusts are pretty nasty. Um, that might actually fall under high difficulty as well. Having three of those spawn on you would probably be a bad day. Uh, so let's create some medium difficulty. Uh, medium difficulty will be like two drones. So what I might do is create a pairing of a Mark 1 and a Mark 2 variant of each one. So Mark 1, Mark 2, Firefly, spawn group sort of thing. Hey, thanks, Mnemonic. Thanks for eight months. Personally, I want 60 mosquitoes to swarm as the final boss. After that, you just get... You get to just point at stuff and watch drones bump into... <laughs> bump it like a confused fish in a tank. Yeah, that would be the problem with spawning that many drones. They would tend to bump into each other. A bit. Uh, let's find the Firefly to... Grab that. But I... I... I'm not ruling out at this stage the idea of having some large swarms being very high difficulty things. Um, but that's not something I want to do for a release. That's something I may mess with later because uh, I think it would require a fair bit more testing to balance something like that. But the idea being like spawning, say, eight drones with that are escorting one large grid ship that's actually a hunter um so that would be this thing so the hunter style behavior is the behavior that lucas has used for his reavers and i was thinking for the highest difficulty stuff the big military looking ships that i've got in acs will spawn with that style behavior so when you engage with them, they change to that and they start actually fighting you. They don't run away. They fight till one of you loses. Oh yeah, KB. Um, spawning that much of a swarm from an asteroid base would be kind of funny. Uh, the hunter style behavior I was going to limit to probably mainly the space-based stuff. Uh, atmospheric cargo ships are hard enough to capture as it is. I don't think I need to make them worse due to the fact that they crash into the ground. They're quite difficult. 
uh, Firefly drone. Z. Is that going to be obvious enough that that's a different group? Let's do that. Just putting an S, pluralizing it is not going to be enough for me to remember what I've done. Uh, let's grab... Let's do the wasp. So this is going to give me a whole lot of extra options. Which is nice. Yeah, the so in space you can disable a craft and then capture it and take all the bits from it, and that's fairly easy, which is why I kind of make the spaceships a little more powerful, uh, because I, I think that balances reasonably well. In Atmo, the whole, uh, as soon as you take the thing, disable the thing, there's a good chance it'll crash into the ground, means you've got to do a lot more complex stuff. You need to basically do what I did in Survival Impossible and attach some parachutes to it so that it'll hit the ground less hard. You And to do that while under fire is super, super difficult. Especially in the time frame that you've got available to you. Uh, it kind of means that atmospheric cargo ships don't tend to be that worth attacking because it's hard it's so hard to capture them um it does make me slightly tempted to put parachutes on all of my cargo ships so that they hit the ground a little less hard um still hard enough to take serious damage so i'd put like one parachute on uh but that's that's something i need to put a lot more thought into because i'm not sure that that's a good idea it's an idea, but I don't know that's a good one. It's done space wasps. Now we need monarchs. Yes, the flight of the paratrooper canaries. Which was only possible because the thing decided because i managed to break the remote control wasn't it and so the thing was just hovering there so i had plenty of time to mess with it Yeah, Takari, they shouldn't, um, they shouldn't despawn under you if you've changed the grid in any way. Um, it does still happen, but they're not supposed to. So if you've, if you've gotten onto a cargo ship and you've ground down part of it, or if you've done some damage to it, um, and you're within a reasonable distance of it, I think there's a distance calculation that MES does. If you're within that range, it's not meant to despawn. They still do, and I imagine it's one of those things Lucas wants to see if he can figure out why, but I didn't think they were supposed to despawn. I thought they were supposed to stay in action until they get far enough away from you so they can despawn. Which I'll admit, my drones make very, very difficult. Because if you don't leave the ship to attack the drone the drone damages the ship that you're trying to capture 
And so you end up in this situation of if I leave, I might have this thing despawn. That's going to be really annoying. But generally speaking, I think, like, having thought about this a fair bit to try and come up with a way to do it in Survival Impossible, I think the best approach for atmospheric drones, atmospheric cargo ships, is to have a fighter or a drone that can take out the guns on one probably the rear facing part of the ship and then you fly up you land in gear on and you deploy parachutes you then bring in another fighter to take out the rest of the guns because once you've got those parachutes on there there's no way that thing is getting to its despawn point The Mark II variants are predominantly different weapons. Uh, the Monarch has a bigger upgrade. The Monarch drone Mark II actually has um, a rail gun, which means I probably shouldn't have it as a um, medium difficulty. It should probably be hard. Because a railgun might be a little bit mean. Uh, Laws, I think to be able to get something to effectively lock onto uh, an enemy ship, you would need to have thrust in all directions so that you could match speed appropriately to the other ship. A single thruster direction without a very advanced AI controlling it is going to crash. It's not going to lock. At least it's going to crash often enough to be annoying. Yeah, but exactly, Dragnon. I, I need basically to have two types of canaries or even just one type of canary that has landing gear and parachutes equipped to it so that I can go in there, shoot all of the shoot a couple of the guns off, have a clear line of approach, get up there, lock on, deploy shoots, bring another one in, lock on, deploy shoots, and just bring the thing down. Kind of like if you imagine harpoons on a whale. That sort of thing. <laughs> yes, harpoons. Harpoons in Space Engineers. They're so much fun, aren't they? Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give the monarchs a servant okay so what do we got we got one medium difficulty wasp one medium difficulty firefly uh that'll probably do Honestly, the the amount you can tell, like I think there there comes a point where, as a player, if you have too many different options coming at you, you stop paying attention to any of their differences altogether. If you have too few, you know them too well. And I think the number for that is probably variable depending on the situation. But for in the case of the drones, I think I've reached the point where. Other than the name of a drone, people aren't going to pay attention to anything else. So I don't think I need to have like 12 more variants.
You're moderately awake, are you, TFE? Well, we were talking about how you weren't awake yet about an hour ago. So that fits. Talking of rope physics, though, it does make me want to try and not in any serious capacity, and obviously with damage off, uh, attempt to lasso a cargo ship. <laughs> with a hinge rope. Um, right. So that should be the space drones done. Now let's get the ammo ones done. Oh, one sec. Had to make sure Charlie gets her anti-itch tablets. Because it was too early for me to give them to her this morning. <laughs> Would you swing the lasso as well and proceed to violate the speed limits of the universe? Mm-hmm. If only we could all have a computer-aided pursuit and capture bot to help take over ships. Oh, dear. <sighs> well, Lohin. <laughs> that that actually came together pretty quickly. I feel like I've seen something similar to it before as well. Where are my drones at? Capac's name seems to work quite well as a backronym. I think it's because of the A's, so you've got access to using AND. Which helps. Helps make them come together well. Alright, let's rename all these ones as well. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, just realized a problem. Because I've been renaming these, I'm going to have... I've got some of those spawn groups set up wrong. There's no prefab for some of them. I'm going to... I think I'll rename everything now. Yeah. I'm going to have to do it all. And if I don't, I'm going to run into problems later. Initially, I liked the idea of having the codes different for the drones, but then I realized that it's probably not a good idea. Because it makes it easier for everybody if I just have them all named the same. Makes it easier for clearing them out, at least. Though that was kind of my idea. I'd have the drones named differently. It means you can delete the drones without deleting the ships. I just drag selecting them. Uh, which is the better idea? <sighs> Maybe I should have them all named to mark them as drones.
Uh, despite saying that it Capac's name is suited to uh, acronyms, that was a pretty good one, Lohan. <laughs> What should I, do? what should I do? TFE opinions from fellow MES mod maker. Uh, should I have the drones having a different code at the start? Like I'm thinking like ACSD for the drone. Probably should, shouldn't I? Dang it! I gotta rename all, everything all over again. Or ACD? <laughs> D? Uh, ACD? ACS? The only real use of that is for server owners to leave debris. Fair point. Let's just name them all the same then. Uh, which means going through and copying them all and exporting them all. Yeah, Pearson. <laughs> I couldn't resist it, soon as I saw it. Just don't ever expect me to, um, scream anything any of their music but I'm Australian so of course it's one of those things that pops into my head uh, that's all of the at no ones exported let's go get some space ones so what I was thinking of doing um, at some point, in fact, let's add that to the after release thing. What I would like to do is add small grid atmospheric cargo ships. So I don't want to add space small grid cargo ships. I think space the large grid makes a lot of sense because of the way you can fight in space. But in Atmo, like we were talking about, it's really, really hard to capture cargo ships. So I thought it might be nice to have some small grid ones that you might be able to outrange and pick off and capture, at least as early ones. Certainly to try and entice, or at least to try and entice the player to fight a bit more. All these ACS. Oh. Now, export all of these again. So, I will delete all of those. Firefly, Locust. Monarch, Space Wasp. Haunted, Haunted, Mayfly, Mosquito, Mosquito. I'm just going to get rid of these because I don't know what they are there for. Um, and then those are all Atmo ones. And move them across. Be like Capac and his sniper drone he captured. Kinda.
all I'm all I'm seeing from these attempts at splitzy acronyms is just how hard my name is to make into an acronym. Synchronized percussive lassitude involving tons of steel in egress, which I think I think you probably need to go more the route of um those acronyms that kind of take two letters of each word to form it, I think you'll find that might be a bit nicer. <laughs> Synchronized piston launcher and total structurally structural integrity expirer. Simple processes lost initiate terror scenario including errors. Synchronized phantom launcher akin to trebuchet involving exasperation. Fair enough. <laughs> that works for Splatsy. <sighs> But still, I reckon you can get something better if you use combo letters. I'm struggling to think of an, of an example I'm familiar with that does an acronym that way. Also, I think TFE just outed himself for using um, light mode in Twitch. Oh, that's splatty, isn't it? <laughs> it's not splatsy, it's splatty. I suppose you could say trebuchet shot involving exasperation. And I've realised the irony of me saying out at himself using light mode when I'm using this. Uh, but... It's because he's made fun of me for using this, so I decided. <laughs> Will I ever start a Splatsy channel as well? I hope not. I have, I kind of have too many channels as it is. I think I've got it slightly confusing for people, but um, I think I've got a bit much. <laughs> hey, Shaq. How... <laughs> How's it going, mate? Thanks so much for the raid. Um, as I attempt to stare interestingly at text files. What were you up to this morning, Shaq? I saw something about helicopters and heavy lifting the other day. Uh, I need to find... No, I need to replace... With no, that should be good. Ah, oh, playing all the Starship Troopers. Yeah, the I think did the Starship Troopers game add co-op recently? Capac was saying. I think he was keeping an eye on it for that reason. I think he was saying that it did. Oh, maybe it was a different game. No, I I think I think we were both hoping to play it. Um think I might be thinking of something else, but I thought he mentioned this one. I definitely want to play this though. <laughs> it just released. Yeah. I'll have to ask him later today. Cause I think I think it might have been this one they were talking about adding co-op. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but um, I feel like that was the one that he was talking about. Uh, he's been keeping an eye on for that reason, because he knew that we both have a lot of fun playing it together. The 2005 one did. Oh man, uh, let's just do this while I remember. Hello. Oh, brilliant. Okay, no, Steam, Steam didn't crash. It just looked like it was about to. Okay, let's just do that. <laughs> so I don't forget about it. 
Uh, how is SE going? It is behaving for me right now as I attempt to... Attempt to get my mod useful. And fun. I... I really want to make my... Finish off my, um... MES mod. To be release worthy. Considering I've been kind of working on it for several years now and I haven't done a proper release for it yet. Alright, goodbye. You guys. Mosquito and Mayfly, that's fine. Mayfly and Wasp is fine. Hornet and Wasp. Hmm. That's fine. Okay. That all looks good. Now I just need to actually set these to be in the behaviors so we can spawn them. Um... Do we have the guppies here? No. All right. Uh, I need... So what I'm thinking I'll do now is I'll add... <laughs> uh, Brandon, see you, Shaq. <laughs> have a good day, man. Um, can you remove the code that disables all the spawns the moment I finish my shiny new fighter? Um... Fly around in your shiny new fighter for a while. Uh, you will... You will get something. I am sure of it. Now, what I th think... What I'm thinking I want to do right now is... I kind of just want to make a spawn group that's going to be... Using these new drones and just test them. Just get shot up a bit by them and see how they go. Uh... Let's add them to this one. Atmospheric drones. Let's add some Wasp Mark II. To that. Okay, let's go test it. See if I've broken anything before I fiddle too much further. <laughs> I kind of... I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to make another Be Right Back screen with the massive uh, overwhelming drone spawn like I talked about doing before something like green screened like this one so that i've got the drones all flying and shooting over the screen uh, yes because i think that would be perfect plenty going on on the screen when i'm not actually at the computer at the time uh test <laughs> I've I've got another I've got another be right back capac screen in process uh, that I haven't made yet finished yet but yeah I'm really happy with how that one turned out. Tis nice. Uh, Mike, to be honest, no, I don't have any plans to revisit Tin Can. Fuel critical. Not really my game. Tin Can, to me, seemed to be a game about memorizing a um, instruction manual so that you could get quick enough at it to solve problems that weren't all that interesting to me.
I'm sure other people enjoy the game, but that's how it felt for me, so... Assertive combat system, 62 warnings. That's not good. Error loading spawn group. Which spawn groups have errored? Well, that's not good. Hmm. Oh, I think I know why. I think I know why. Uh, so that's the atmo. Let's just see if we reduced our warnings. We had 62 before. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have like... Uh, like 50 or less now. What I think I did is I hadn't renamed the prefabs for the drones for the ships that spawned with escorts. They were still using the old prefab names. Fuel. Something I did just realize, though. There we go, we're down to 31. Something I did just realize is I should... Um, hang on, let me just focus for a second. I should make an atmospheric drone that's not... Um, covered in tons and tons of armor that is built with the intent of carrying two turrets as the most difficult atmospheric drone because the turrets make the drones much more difficult to engage with because the turrets accuracy is obviously higher than what Lucas has set his default um, accuracy for fighters at I think the Accuracy of Lucas's guns is fun level accuracy. Uh, and that's why I kind of stick predominantly with them. But I think for higher difficulty stuff, you should have to take out a turret. Higher risk of taking a little bit of damage. It's only a Gatling turret. It's not going to do massive damage to you unless you hang around too long. Uh... Let's just check if that new one is right. Also, yeah, there we go. We're down to six warnings. It's a bit more reasonable. Uh, yes, we do have the medium difficulty one. Excellent. Maybe make a fairly tall drone with turrets on the side so you can use a big battery as the main structure. Um, yeah, maybe. Spawn planetary cargo chip. There we go. Alright, what do we got? Have an escort. That is flying slightly faster than the cargo ship. Huh. Interesting. Hey, Zuri. Hey, Lord Wraith. Uh, yeah, I don't... I, I've not added the inhibitor stuff too much in this. And I don't intend to. There we go. You can see the wasp is now moving to engage.
as it's supposed to. There's a part of me that wants to change up the way that assertive works and instead of calling in drones, things just get more difficult by more drones spawning uh, as escorts with cargo ships so that over time you just have more and more things being protected. Um, and that they can only call in drones from nearby bases if they've spawned. Just to make it all feel really real. Why aren't you shooting at me? Hello? Did I delete your gyroscope or something? No, you turned. Why are you shooting at me? Hello, drone. Why are you no shoot? Uh, good question, TFE. Did I enable shooting? Yep. <laughs> uh. Uh, untargetable is irrelevant for MES targeting. Clearly got a gyroscope, it's spinning. Yeah, it's got two gyros. Why is it not targeting me? This doesn't make any sense. Um alright, let's let's see if something more widespread has broken fuel critical uh the close range explosion shouldn't have broken anything because I think I may have damage off no I've got damage on um but it, it was broken before that it should have shot at me long before I got that close <laughs> why annoying. It didn't... <laughs> it's really annoying. Stupid broken thing. Uh, let's just spawn something at random. And of course it's something without a... an escort. There we go, that's got an escort. Will the regular Mayfly work? Because it did before. Yes, explosions looking good. Mayfly, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me! No! No, this was working before. Why is it broken now? I haven't changed anything except for what spawns. Do you not have ammo? What ammo? Thanks, Perdan. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh, as mentioned, non-targetable does not matter. Um, the way MES works, it doesn't use regular targeting. Non-targeting only affects um, turrets. It doesn't affect fixed weapons on MES-controlled ships. 
for some reason this isn't tilting up and down, it's just sitting flat. Like normally the drone would tilt toward me and target me, but it seems to be lacking that ability right now. Uh, it didn't start shooting when I got closer, it started shooting when I got in the perfect position for it to shoot me. See? In position. And out of position. My level with gravity is on when it shouldn't be? Maybe. <sighs> I hate bug fixing. It's so annoying. Wait a second, it wasn't supposed to use horsefly, it was meant to be fighter. I thought I changed that. Maybe I only changed that for space. That could actually be the problem. As we get dizzy with what's going on in the background. Uh, space escort behavior. Yeah, I think that's the problem. So the horsefly behavior is supposed to be for turreted ships. I think that's going to be my problem. I think that's the problem. Now I should get shot up as I want. Hopefully. Hopefully. Fuel critical. Uh, so, Foshnell, with gyroscopes, um, I'm actually planning on doing a video on that in the next week or so, uh, about which aspects of their positioning are relevant in what situations. Generally speaking, though, you could ignore wherever you put gyroscopes, whatever orientation you put them in, they will work the same regardless uh, it's only when you start messing with stuff in their overrides and things like that but Lucas doesn't use gyro overrides for controlling the orientation of the drone so the orientation of the gyroscope shouldn't matter alright let's spawn in the golden spear again let's see if this thing shoots me this time very much behaving like a horsefly would, which is keep it level to gravity and use your turrets to shoot down and up. Yes, yeah, so Lucas only uses gyro overrides for Reaver Death Spins of Doom. I, instead of doing Death Spins of Dooms from overrides, I instead change the behaviours of the cargo ships. So that it's even less predictable. <laughs> I make the cargo ships turn on horsefly mode so that sometimes they'll do ridic ridiculous spins and other times they'll just shoot you. Now are you going to shoot me, Wasp? Come on. You don't look like you're doing what you should be doing. Looks like it's still staying level to gravity. What is it doing? Uh, yeah, the the drones that I'm adding right now that I'm they're supposed to be working, um, but aren't working, yeah. will have auto cannons and things like that on them. 
some of them. Generally speaking, though, Gatling guns are better anyway, so I tend to stick with them. Hey, Tex. How's it going? Hopefully better than my frustrations right now. Uh... Wait, that's the wrong group. Spawn groups. Uh, spawn groups. At my medium. ACS at my escort behavior. Why is it not changing? Erg. Yeah, it is seeming to target me a bit better now, but it's still not right. Plan in 2000. We're getting the chat from it, which means this is getting triggered and it is changing behavior subclass. But why isn't it attacking me? No, I don't have the behavior debug command at hand, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, Axendo, I figured I figured Hugo's was um not the correct word in that sentence. Have you Hugo's the behavior? <laughs> Fortunately that one was easy enough to piece together. Sometimes the weird autocorrects aren't. Uh, what is wrong? Why? You got any thoughts, TFE? Your experience with this stuff? Any ideas? Um, why is this behavior switch happening, but not actually targeting? I wonder if there's, I wonder if, like last time I was looking at, um, potentially being supposed to reset the target thing. Um, maybe that's part of it. Hey, Mr. Titan, <laughs> thanks so much for 30 one months. Yep, it's... I'm approaching that three-year mark of being regularly here on Twitch, which is... bizarre. Uh, right, behaviours. Uh, was it one of the actions? Change behavior subclass. Hey, thanks, FX Potato. Time flies when you're having Twitch. Um, sure, Dex. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't, though, when Twitch is being twitchy and frustrating. Did you jiggle the thing and shake it a bit, and when that fails, the hammer? I haven't tried the hammer yet. Let's see if it works. I don't think it fixed anything. Sure made a noise, though. Although I do wonder if the noise cancelling cleaned that up or not. Time flies when the drones are twitching erratically. <sighs> Fun when you're having flies. No, that's definitely not true. Um... Uh, 
Hey! <laughs> Thank you so much, Black Shadow, for another three gift subs. Thank you very much. How's it going this evening for you? Uh, waypoints, waypoints, no. There was a targeting thing. Where was targeting? Refresh, tr refresh target. I might try this. I don't know why it's being weird though. It's clearly targeting me, but it's not... It's just not doing the stuff it's supposed to. Oh, <laughs> sticking sticking around into the wee hours of the morning for the other part of the stream, huh? Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Dragnon. Thank you for another 10 gift subs, you madman. Uh. Fuel critical. Thanks, Dan B, for two years. Thank you very much. Uh, <sighs> yeah, 2,706 gift subs is nuts. Just wait, just wait till Dragnon realizes that they realizes that they are gift subs on YouTube now too. That's going to be a dangerous, dangerous thing. Um, what was I looking for? That was a command that was in chat. I've lost it. Try MES info get grid behavior. Uh, yeah, yeah, there are, Dragnon. I, though for people to receive gift subs on... Oh, okay, that... Oh, right, the... Get grid behavior is from staring at the thing. All right, let's do that once I get up there. Um, so if you're on YouTube, you have to actually enable receiving gift subs in a weird thing. Um, but yeah, they're a thing now. I thought I thought I'd mention it to you because you've you've mentioned Dragon that you prefer spreading the happiness out. Rather than just straight up uh, big donations, that's why you like the sub thing. I thought you'd prefer that rather than doing the big uh, super chats. Because you're insanely generous and I, despite telling you to stop doing it so that you can buy yourself a better PC, uh, keep doing it anyway. Uh... No, Ragnarok, I think it just goes to... I don't actually know what happens if there aren't enough people. Oh. Nope, you're not targeting me. Alright. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Let's see what it's doing. Why is it being weird? Fighter. Mode engage target. Is that the right mode? <laughs> but if I gift sub and only one person has it enabled, I can sub them for 10 months. I don't know, Dragnon. I genuinely uh, don't know. Maybe maybe I should mention to more people to enable it and then, then, we, then see what happens. But I genuinely don't know. I am clearly the target. We're in fighter mode, so it's doing that. Yeah, it's... <sighs> it's like dogs in Shaun of the Dead. They can't look up. And I don't know why. 
hadn't had this problem before. <laughs> it's very confusing. Did I use strike before? No, I, well, um, I can try strike, but... Dogs can definitely look up and down, um, but it's a line in Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> Is can look up set to true? Oh uh, yeah, autopilot car, uh, current mode being cargo ship is fine. Uh, because the sub mode changes, and that's how we're supposed to change it now. We're not supposed to change the overall autopilot. Um, I guess we can try Strike. I thought I went with Fighter because Strike didn't work last time. Let's try it. Uh... Genu I don't know, Lazy Jaguar, whether behavior run count zero means anything. I'll be honest, my ability to pass this information is limited. It knows it has weapons, it knows it has guns. But I don't I don't know. Dogs look up to you, cats look down on you, but pigs stare you straight in your eyes. Hmm. Deep. I don't think I want to try and train Charlie to do somersaults. I think she's a bit big to attempt that. What is the drone doing? Come on. Please shoot me. Please? Oh, it's still... This is feeling less and less like a thing that I've bugged out and more and more like maybe Lucas broke something. That I was using. That he didn't realise people were using that way. Because the drone is not doing any orientation shifts. It is sticking perfectly level. Um, <sighs> yeah, the gyros are on because it's spinning. So I know I know the gyros are working because it's moving left and right. It's just not tilting up and down. Uh, it's the same behavior, Lazy Jaguar. The, the way Lucas wants us doing this now is keeping one behavior that controls everything and you just change behavior submodes. And it's changing behavior submode. It's displaying the right submode. It's just not actually doing it. It is a good question, though, whether this is working in space. With the space spawns. Spawn, space, cargo ship. Well, both of those don't have anything with them. Let's try again. You do.
Because if this one works, then it's an issue with the behavior subtype not functioning properly in gravity at the moment. Um, which does potentially mean it's a Lucas problem, not a me problem. No, 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 Zuna, the, the escort actually has its own special behavior. I've just named it. It just uses the standard autopilot thing. Um, I'll check the I'll check to see what you mean about whether there's something forcing it to fly level, but I'm pretty sure I didn't set anything like that. Or it certainly hasn't been an issue in the past. Yeah, working properly in space. Although, why is this smoking? Let's check. So it is Wait, where is it? What am I looking for? It's the my auto MO space chat behavior, drone behavior. No, not base. Atmo escort behavior. Behavior name cargo ship. Because it starts as a cargo ship type. That's the subtype as well. Oh, that's a good thought, Ragnarok. That is a good thought. Uh, does appear to be overriding and going back to level. Spawn a new one just to make sure, but it does appear to be doing that. I think I have something working and then it's not. It's really annoying. Spent ages mucking around with this thing before and now it's broken again. Wait, get back here. Get back here. That bounced a lot. Let's go something heavier. Yeah, I think it's actively fighting this because... Yeah, it's tilting and then it's tilting back. Okay. Uh, the bounce is because this thing is pushing up in the air. <laughs> yeah, well... Drop something really heavy. Nope. There we go. That unequivocally it is correcting back to perfectly level. Uh, where have I done something that I can fix here? Autopilot data. Where have I got my autopilot? Atmo autopilot. Fly level with gravity, true. Dang it! I'm going to need to create a new autopilot. You guys were right. That never. That wasn't a problem before. I don't know why it wasn't a problem before. 
wonder why it was he able to ignore it previously and not now. Weird. Because I thought, oh, maybe in the past, um, it could be in the past they were able to override that setting with the change in behavior subtype. Uh, let's go back to fighter. And this is why, even when I'm dubious of suggestions I'm given uh, at the beginning, I will uh, keep looking to see if you are right. Because I get proven wrong on freak high... On, very often. Frequently. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, Ragnarok, you could be actually right. Um, and you were correct as well, Zuna. Um, it seems like the override status of things like that has been changed. Assuming this thing shoots me now. Zuna, I can't remember why... I have the secondary one. Um, Lucas made me do it when he first set it up, so I've just kind of left it. Because I don't know exactly what it does. And just in case I didn't want to mess up and break my other behavior by using it. So I just created two entirely new ones. Well, that's a good sign. Also, that is brutal with how fast it is firing rockets. That is not going to be fun to fight. If those hit you. Working. Yeah. They don't like shooting straight up. Has almost enough thrust to do it, but not quite enough. Oh, maybe it does. Yep. <laughs> Spawn something for it to destroy. What do we got? Uh, I could fly myself in a... Uh, how could I fly? Will I be able to get into one of these quickly enough? Oh, door. Ah! Down goes the drone. Yep, down goes the drone. Ah, uh, the rocket drones are not exactly intended to be fair. They're intended to be mean. Yeah, MES has unlimited ammo. Which 
for my purposes works quite well because it means that they I can spawn the ships to have a small amount of ammo as a reward for capturing them. gonna be. I thought I might have actually had a bit of a, a little bit of a dogfight go for a little bit then, but no. Charging. I, I'm, I'm well aware, I was kind of aware of the glass on the front weakness of this ship. <laughs> glass cockpits are not really optimal for war, warships. this is working again. That's a relief. What happened to the back of my cockpit? Oh, it's back then. Space engineers, you're not happy, are you? Can everyone else hear that thruster sound? Even though I'm clearly not flying a ship. I think I got confused with this cockpit. <laughs> well, I may not have broken MES, but I broke this. So, the drones work now, that's good. Uh, I might change the space escort behaviors as well. Just in case they get run into in a moon or something like that where it's gonna matter. The mod that makes the player take a percentage of the damage to the seat slash cockpit that the seat slash cockpit does is neat. Yeah, that's kind of a cool idea, TV. I do kind of like the fact that you can smash something really badly in Space Engineers and walk away and look at the damage. There is something nice about that because it means you can be stranded. Uh, I don't know, Zuna. I don't know if I can, um, change the fly level thing through an action. I imagine it might be possible, but I'm not sure. So, 
now that that's working, we can think about what is going to happen with our higher difficulty spawns. I think first step is decide whether the current medium difficulty is adequate, uh, but also in terms of what's escorting them, um, and then decide what they should spawn in as helpers. So I've got Atmo Easy Behavior, Atmo Escort, Space Easy, Space Escort. So I've got no extra behavior stuff done at this stage for medium and high difficulties. Which is what I think I might start working on now. So let's create an Atmo Medium. Because the Easy Behavior is currently at a point where I'm happy with it. I'm, I consider it basically finished for the time being. Uh, let's just replace easy with medium. Um, Avalite, I don't know. I don't know if I can change the reload rate on that missile drone. Uh, I agree, it might be nice to slow it down by about half. But I'm not sure if that would require um, me changing the uh, the weapon itself because I'd rather not change the weapons themselves um, TFE where would I define that fire rate are you talking about changing the weapon or are you cha talking about changing um, something else Uh, right, so let's just check through this. These should all redirect correctly. Weapon profile, huh? Use barrage fire. This tag specifies static weapons should be fired sequentially instead of all at once. Hammer replenish. Um, specifies the max fire rate of a weapon to be considered usable for barrage fire. This is used to allow weapons that have higher fire rate to fire constantly instead of in a barrage sequence doesn't look like there's actually a useful thing for rocket launchers here, as far as I can see. Because this specifies which weapons get included as barrage fire, not the rate of fire for barrage fired weapons. So as far as I can tell, there doesn't appear to be a way to control rate of fire with MES at this stage. Unless it's somewhere else, or it's undocumented at this stage, which is entirely possible. So what I want to mess with here, primarily at this stage, is just the spawn groups um, for the medium difficulty spawns. Uh, there's not really much else I want to mess with. So instead of spawning a single mayfly mosquito or wasp, this should be spawning 
the group sometimes the single ones but more often the groups uh, the pairs or triples uh, let's close that close that close that let's close the space one and just leave the Atmo open for the moment. And we'll close Atmo easy so I don't end up messing with the wrong one. So, Spawn Groups Drone Atmo. So I need to rearrange this one as well to what I did with the space one where I've got the higher difficulty spawns separate from the lower difficulty. Have I even added the extra ones to this yet? I don't even know that I have. Drone squadrons, yep. Yeah, I'll do as a name, I guess. Yeah, I haven't added them. And then we'll have a high difficulty. Right here. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It doesn't seem I can mess with the rocket directly. Because um, it does shoot ridiculously fast. So I need to go to my prefabs. Atmospheric drones. I need to add up the top here the individual ones, and then I'll add them separately. The reason I'm adding them as individual drones as well as adding them as groups, even though I'm primarily going to spawn the harder ones as part of a group, uh, is because I want that flexibility later. If I don't do it now, I'll never do it, and I'll completely forget about it. Uh, there's no Mayfly Mark II. Yeah, TFV, I was thinking timer blocks could be an option to toggle the thing on and off so that it can't fire as often, but... Uh, I don't... I don't like it as a solution, I'll be honest. Mosquito... Hornet and Wasp. Mosquito. Wasp. Hornet. Okay, cool. They're all in there now. Had <laughs> more rockets problem solved, right? Hmm. Um, yeah, Tommaso, there there is a random element to watch what you're gonna get. It's just um there are weightings to the random. So Currently, I've got these medium difficulty ones, which are, you know, a combo of two easy drones uh, in various arrangements, or three of the easier drones. Uh, but I want to... I want to spice it up by having some combos that are mixes of the types as well. So I'll put them as high difficulty ones, I think. Uh, let's go wasp drone variants. 
and we'll have mark two and we might grab a second mark two to have with it as well Just trying to come up with ways of organizing these spawn groups so I can look at the spawn group and immediately know what it is that I've chosen to put in the group. Uh, so we got wasps. Let's go hornets. Kind of a part of me likes the idea of having um, the... Drones that have the uh, additional weaponry only appearing quite late in the piece. So by then, you've kind of gotten comfortable with them always having Gatling guns, and then you get a bit of a surprise. Because that's kind of a nice late-game twist. Something to spice things up when you weren't expecting it. I think could be a nice... Nice way of keeping things interesting. Uh, Hornet drones, and then Mosquito... I think we'll go back to three with the mosquitoes. Uh, the threat scaling is based on threat score as well as uh, reputation. It's both. What? Should the mosquito should be made of wood? Um, low end, I'm I, that. What? <laughs> what? You've lost me. You've lost me. And... Should the mosquito be made of wood? Why would the mosquito be made of wood? I'm just, I'm, you've lost me. Oh, the World War II plane made of wood. I gotcha. Right. Yep, that went straight over my head. Like, probably went over the roof over my head. Okay, so we've now got medium difficulty things and high difficulty ones, which means I can start messing with these groups. So, what options should there be for spawns at medium difficulty? I think we might have an occasional risk of a high one, but most of them will be these pairs. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's create more options. Um, I'm going to get rid of the mosquito option so it's not on its own. Oh, uh, I need to change this NPC dash Why? Oh, no. Uh, and I need to open up the other behavior because it's messed up now too. Uh... Behaviors... No medium behavior, no, no easy behavior.
There we go. Now the spawn group should be fixed. That's something I'm potentially going to run into issues with fixing later. Because uh, of the renaming of some of the spawn prefabs. Okay, mosquito and mayfly. Let's add mayfly and wasp as an option. Leave wasp as an option. Have a rare triple threat. So the way that this spawn should work is when the action calls this spawner, spawner A, you will get either a mayfly or a mosquito and mayfly or a wasp or a mayfly and wasp or etc. etc. through that list. So you'll get one of these things. So sometimes you may get one and you'll get lucky. Sometimes you may get three and you'll be in pain. And sometimes... Oh wait, there's another group. Sometimes we'll go this one, and then I'm going to make another one for the extra nasty. Occasional. Sometimes you're going to have a really bad day. We'll just have one. And I'll change up which one that is with these two different spawn groups. <laughs> initiate. Do you mean initiate capac defense measures like these? That'll block plenty of fire, won't it? That'll be effective. I was half tempted whenever I'm looking at the um, notepad files to just have this up on the screen, but I think it'll be really distractive. Distractive? Distracting and make it very difficult to actually read what I'm doing. Fire the Kapak Chaff. Oops. <laughs> nope, looks fine. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, so I think for the moment, these spawn groups are going to be the only differences in difficulty level escalation. So medium behavior will have these things. High level behavior will have the thing we're about to do next. I'm not going to add any extra variables in how the ships behave yet. That's stuff I'll do after release. I think this is enough for now. Um, so that we've got some degree of escalation and something that adds variety as we progress through our game playing against a cert. Uh, so let's grab easy at my medium. We'll copy that and we'll turn it into Atmo High. Now we need to go Control F, replace Atmo Medium with Atmo High. Let's go check out these spawn groups. So now, now that we're moving up to the uh, spicier end of the spectrum, I am going to grab all of the variant types and replace the single drone spawns. And keep forgetting that I've been copying more of it. Do you know what else I might do? 
I'm going to create another spawn group. Uh, the other spawn group is going to be just that rare bit of extra mean. Yes, chaff pack. <laughs> Can you set them to always target orange engineers first? Uh, apparently there is a target pro there are target profile options for player slash grid name yeah I haven't been that mean yet doesn't mean I won't ever be I haven't been that mean yet uh, let's call this one the variant surprise surprise so the variant surprise is going to be a Mosquito Drone Mark II with a Hornet Drone Mark II and a Wasp Drone Mark II. And just because I'm feeling particularly cheeky this morning, a regular version of all three as well. There we go. <laughs> so that one. Should be rare. Because that's mean. That's six drones. That's... These drones I've watched defeat Reavers. With the help of the cargo ship that they're with. Also, this file is named Atmo High Behaviory. I think we need to fix that. There we go. For that rare little bit of nasty. Um, we might get rid of that one. Just so there's a bit more a bit more interest going on. Plot armor equals I blacklisted myself out of the drones targeting. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize, TFE, that you'd um, set that up for scavenger hunt. That's That was really clever, so that you guys didn't get targeted, which means you can play alongside the AI. Very clever. That's cool. Uh, in theory, that should be working. Now, what I need to do is go back to my spawn groups and change the behavior settings of the higher difficulty spawns so that they will call upon the higher difficulty drones. So if we go back up to the top of the medium section... My fly drone cargo ship. Nope, you do not call in help. You have your own behavior. So you just go straight for things. Uh, this needs to change. Do I want to leave some of them being easy and just having an escort? Yeah. I, know I, might, I might just pick up on some of them and change them up. Most of them, but not all of them. Because 
so the medium difficulty has every single one of them has an escort but now not every single one of them will spawn in massive numbers of helpers some of them will just spawn in regular numbers of helpers uh And I think that could make it interesting. To make it more more gradual, the escalation. Uh, rather than it being snap, immediate. Now things have stepped up. It's obvious that things have gotten worse. So uh, I kind of... I like trying to make these things feel gradual and feel natural in the way that they escalate. Humboldt can stay easy, or that Humboldt can stay easy. That one can go medium just to make things weird. Oh, the Chasqui has to go to medium behavior. Need a slow day at the airbase, everyone responding response to a cargo ship attack, sending the variety surprise group to defend the cargo ship. <laughs> mm. The I I like the idea of adding little bits of unique behavior like that uh, once I've got the mod properly released. Because I think I think that's once all this basic stuff is in place, I can add little bits like that. I can make a single spawn group have a special behavior. I can I can do that sort of stuff in a way that'll um, spot, uh, add even more variety to these things without risking breaking everything else because I'll just add a completely new behavior for that specific ship. That sort of thing is what I'm thinking. But having this basic complex enough to be fun to engage with behavior was the big battle I wanted to finish first. Slippery beetle. Um, hey, boulder. Uh, yeah, you can get, you can get Misty Trains. Sunflower, no, you're not going to Mantis should. I'm doing this based on my memory of the size of these ships and which ones look more like they employ protection. Hey, Githma. Oh, Zuno, are you some are you somewhere in Sydney or Newcastle? Being that close. Uh, Skeletor, yeah, you need upgrade. And that'll do. Now I need to copy this spawn groups file and upgrade it for the high difficulty. And then in theory, all I have to do is mess with threat score minimums and we'll have progression in the mod. Southwest Sydney, yep. Yep. 60-ish Ks is about right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Spawn groups at mo medium. Copy, paste. One groups at my high. Ooh. Do I spice this up a little bit? I think I shall. I'm going to add a couple more chances at high difficulty or random uh, drones to spawn in to come and attack you. 
I'm not going to give the nasty ones in that just because I think it's a bit annoying. But I like the chance of you, as you progress through, potentially um, having something just out of the blue attack you. Having a little drone pop up on your radar and be like, where'd that come from? Why am I getting attacked by a drone? Or in this case, two drones. <laughs> I only live about 9,100 miles from Flitzy. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's what I need to do. Uh, let's get rid of... These ones are actually duplicates, so I need to get rid of them and replace them with high ones. Otherwise, I'll have duplicate spawn groups with the same name and it'll not like me. So that's the double wasp drone spawn that can happen with high difficulty. I think that might be enough. In theory, with the way I've set it up, you'll never stop getting the medium difficulty spawns. Uh, the only thing that'll happen is you'll have a chance, once you reach a certain threat score, to also get the high difficulty ones. And I intentionally did it that way. I wanted to um, have it so that variety kept increasing the longer you played, rather than getting restricted to, well, these are the ones I know are difficult to fight, so you're going to be stuck fighting them. Just want to make sure there isn't a dash M somewhere I didn't expect as I replace these to make them all correct. I didn't want to do a replace all just in case. But yeah, the idea was to try and keep things expanding. In the past, what I'd done is made it so that you, the actual ships you got as time went on changed. But I realized that that was, that was hiding a lot of the ships from players once they got to a certain difficulty level, and that was a bit boring. So next up, let's change the threat score minimum to... Let's change these high difficulty ones to something pretty high. Let's go 800. Uh, Splitzy, is there a limit to the total number of drones that will spawn to defend a cargo ship? Yes. As you progress through, that could be quite a large number but the cargo ships for various triggers can only trigger like those triggers can only be activated a set number of times and most of them it's three some of them it's even one i think the maximum number of drones for an easy encounter that you should face is somewhere between five and six most of the time it'll be two or three Because uh, there's also a timer delay between the spawns, so they can't just keep spamming you with spawns, uh, which is random, but random between two numbers, which I think I said a maximum of 10 minutes and a minimum of three or something around those sorts of mark, that sort of mark. I think I also need to change the threat score minimum here. I think 150 is too low. I think this should be, say, what if we go 450 and 900? I think that'd be more reasonable.
again, since I'm not actually getting rid of the easier spawns, it's going to have less likelihood that this threat score will break your game because you can still get the easier spawns. It's just once you reach a threat score of 450, there's a 50-50 chance of getting the medium or the easy. And once your threat score reaches 900, you've got a third 33% chance of an easy, 33% chance of a medium, and 33% chance of a hard or high difficulty. And to me, that I think will give me a much lower chance of completely stone aging people when I don't mean to. But still giving them some spicy encounters once they reach a certain level of power. And hopefully that'll make it more interesting to engage with and make people more willing to engage with the cargo ships for longer in order to get their fancy thrusters. Um, so, we've got, I think that's kind of, I just need to go through and replace the behaviours for the high difficulty. Replace the behaviour name. Which I might actually go through and replace all of them in this case. So if you've reached a threat score of 900, you're kind of going to have to just deal with the pain. So let's replace all the ammo easy first. Let's replace all the ammo medium next. Whoops. There we go. Uh, and the reason I, I think that won't be as sharp an increase as it feels with me going the mediums only some of them and then the high all of them is because of that 33% split between the three spawn groups. Uh, whereas the medium it's 50%. So if I do only say two thirds of that 50%, I'll end up with about 30 something percent of them being changed at that point and then 30 something percent of them getting changed again. So I, th I think that'll be relatively consistent in escalation. I think. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, these are all very rough guesses uh, based on a known threat score for the cockroach of 800. But of course, if you've built a cockroach, it's probably not your only base. You've probably got a base as well, which means your threat score will be higher. Especially since I check an 8 kilometer range. So I guess I could drop that range at some point. Maybe. don't know. Things to tweak in the future. Right. That feels like now the atmospheric ship's uh done so fuel critical let's remove these let's do some tests in a true sense of irony my se was interfering with the twitch audio yeah se can do weird things to audio really really weird things to audio especially when you get like a lot of sounds trying to play at once. Um, it can actually almost blow out. It, it feels like a blowout on the audio that it just kind of breaks it. It breaks audio through all of Windows. It is very bizarre. Mental note, hide big ships nine kilometers from my bases. Yeah, that might help you. Maybe. Uh, now, where did I put that command? I know I kept it this time. Yeah, there we go. Threat handicap changing. So my current... Oops. My current threat score is 90. Which means... Oh, no, not comma. 
Yeah, dungeon spawns at position. Means the current spawns should be limited to just the easy spawns. Should be no medium difficulty spawns here. That looks to be correct. Good. Next up, we're going to... Whoops. Probably helps if I copy the thing again. Because I copied something else in the meantime. We're going to set the threat reduction handicap to minus 500. And just check my threat score. 500. Cool. Let's check my spawns. Possible spawns. Make sure that they are actually eligible. And... Oh dear. Why are the high difficulty ones eligible at 500? They shouldn't be. What is going on there? Huh. What? This doesn't make sense. I'm below the threat score minimum. Why is it not right? Uh, huh, 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 huh. This doesn't seem like. How? How do I fix this? I. This is a very simple thing. Threat. Score minimum 900. It's. <laughs> how? 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 Is it broken at all levels? This is 400. Let's get my eligible spawns. So my plan is check that the spawns are eligible at the correct levels and then do some spawns and see if I get nasty drones. Okay, at 400 it works. Okay. This isn't using the correct values. Yeah, but TFE, the threat score minimum of 900, as in you must have more than 900 to be eligible. And my threat score is lower than that. Because the threat score maximum stops spawns when the threat score is above that level. No, I, that, I had a look, Hero. Um, there's no entities at all in the world. Uh, it's a good thought. But that, yeah, that's why I looked at it straight away. I was like, have I got something still here? No, I do not. It seems to be ignoring the minimum on both and treating them as a... I don't even understand what... I don't even understand the, the mathematics of how this is working. Because at 500, the 900 ones are spawning. At 400, the 450 ones are spawning. I don't... I can't even think of what this is doing like how is it defining what can spawn this is breaking my brain you 
Yeah, and the other ones don't use any threat level check. It's in the profile in case I want to add it later, but it's just not. I don't actually use one. <laughs> Have you considered that you programmed it to hate its maker? Hey. <sighs> I don't think that number is an addition to a base number. Like, it's based off... Um, so when I do get threat score, it's based off the number that shows up there. Which is the wrong number. For those spawns to be eligible. So confused. Yep, 350 is the same. Wonder at what point it's going to stop letting the medium one spawn. Still eligible. Still eligible. Ah, uh, the threat score I get should be accurate. I don't any, know any reason why it's not. It wouldn't be. I don't know how to get a different one. Either. Oh, now we've lost the things. At a threat score of 200, we no longer get the 450 ones. Uh... Hang on a second. Uh, let's try this. Threat score 224. No, TFE, there's nothing in the world at all. So there's nothing owned by anyone anywhere. It's doubling the threat score. It's doubling it for some reason. The threat score that it's reading here, my threat score, 225. When it was 224, which would double to 448, I didn't get the medium spawns. When I bring it up to um, 450, I get them. Why would it be doubling the threat score? Yeah, I may have to go to a fresh world. Um, so the ones that are 900, let's go with 449. They should not be eligible now. Yep. Let's change it up to 450. Just to confirm it is occurring as we expect. Oh, no. We got the highs now. Yeah. There's some sort of weirdness that's doubling it. <laughs> is there something that modifies the threat score? And more importantly, how can this be CapEx fault? <laughs> Uh. 
What is going on? I'm just going to restart the game and test it first because creating another test save is actually a bit of a pain because I have to add a whole bunch of mods that I always forget which ones to add. Does it still happen without the custom distance check? Uh, that's probably worth testing. To be honest, I can probably get rid of the custom distance check. I don't think it adds anything meaningful to the experience. Such a weird issue. I'm 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 actually kind of surprised that Capac hasn't shown up while this has been happening, just so that I could blame it on him, just for the fun of it. Fuel critical. All right. Slash mes dot get threat score. Currently, it's four hundred and fifty. Slash mes dot get get eligible spawns at position. That is not what I wanted to alt tab do. It is still happening. All right, so let's get rid of this. So if we go and grab that and replace with that, is this going to work? Nope. Just going to have to go through and delete them manually. I'll just do this for the high difficulty spawns and if it fixes the high ones and yet the medium ones are still broken we know it's something weird with the threat level check range. If it doesn't fix then it's something else. Or if it fixes all of them then there's something even weirder going on. I'm sure there's a way I can do a remove option. I didn't see one over there. Sure, Lucas will be delighted. Yep. I think regardless of the outcome here, Lucas is going to be delighted. Unless it turns out that I have to create a new save game, in which case there was something weirdly corrupted in my save. Um... But yes, I will I will DM in after this if it seems like uh, the problem is on MES's end of things. I could replace with blank, but I don't really want a blank line. Oh, hang on, let me just, let's check. So that's the sp Once in the Spires one now. Yeah, it leaves an empty line. It's alright, I'm almost through the list now. I think I've only got like one or two go. Cool. All right, let's try this again. Is 
please do something different. Critical. All right. Get threat score. 450. Get eligible spawns at position. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 they're still there. All right. New save game time. New game. Custom game. Mods. Modular encounters. Um. I'll do it for now. Please work, please work. At least with it being doubled and it following a very consistent rule, it suggests that there should be something relatively easy to fix somewhere. Um, If if this works, oh nuts! There was there is another mod I need to add. Um, I need to give myself infinite suit energy, so I remain a target. Uh, if this works, then there was something weirdly corrupted with my game. If this doesn't work, then it means I'll just let Lucas know that something's wonky with his threat score calculations and it's doubling it in the compared to the spawn group for some reason. Or somehow my mod is doing that. Because I guess I could try a world without my mod and see if my mod's breaking it somehow. But I don't know how I would have any impact whatsoever on that part of the code. Because that's not something I touch. I don't go near that because I am not capable of such things. Okay. Enable create mode. Go down to planet. Ah, uh, no, Brandon, that's not something I can do either. That's all handled outside my mod. My threat score is currently zero. The eligible spawns with threat score of zero are the easy ones. Uh, my threat score is now going to be minus two hundred and twenty. Bye. <laughs> I just saw Skeletor as a name and I'm curious. Uh, yes, yeah, someone named their uh, ship Skeletor. All right, 225. Get eligible spawns. They're there. All right, let me just write a quick message to Lucas and then we'll start doing some testing. Uh, where are we going? I was just doing some ACS stuff and found something weird when setting the threat score 
the displayed one from command slash mes dot correct score was being doubled when applied to eligible spawns. Um, oh, uh, maybe I should clip it and send that to him. Uh, yeah, TFE, that would explain why you're getting battered. I think, um, I reckon this bug is something on Lucas's end. So I might just, let's just quickly give him a nice little clip for it. So, slash MES get threat score. That shows the 225. Then we do get eligible spawns, which we can paste in here, showing that these are medium ones. These medium ones are here and have a threat score minimum of 450, which is double what we've currently got. And if I click clip that, Clip copied to clipboard. I have now created a clip. So I might just... Let's just quickly give him a nice little clip for it. So... Yep, there we go. I have sent Luke as a clip, so now he can see what it is and what's going on and have a bit more info than my very brief uh, description. Cool. Let's get me blown up. Uh, what do we got? Uh, which is a medium. Let's see what we get spawned with this slippery beetle. Oh, actually, we can do the Skeletor since uh, it was brought up before. Slash MES. Spawn planetary cargo ship. Skeletor. Alright. Um... I love that I've actually got an Atmo fighter I can just paste in now. I don't know why it pastes in upside down. But I love that I've actually got something I can fly in and <laughs> engage with these things with. This was partially some of the stuff I wanted to do with um, the TL series, was have some grids that function, that I can use for testing, that are still interesting and not just some boring thing I've that doesn't actually work for what it was intended to be. Oh, mosquito. Take you down. Oh, we got a single wasp. Lost one though. Uh, no, sneaky sounds doesn't affect weapon sounds. Weapon sounds are always going to be loud. So... Game 
because my like my PC sound is just really bad. Also, why isn't my mouse pointer showing up over the top of OBS? Which means I can't change things. Nope, some, I, I can't actually fix this right now. <laughs> uh, no, PF Throwaway, I have not considered making a Sneaky Weapons mod. The reason being, the Sneaky Sounds mod is entirely intended for, like it was made as a... Oh, here we go. It was made for content creation purposes. That's why I wanted the mod. And when you're in combat, things should be getting a bit loud. Things should be getting a bit overwhelming. Uh, and typically, you'll find that most... Oh, boy. Most content creators will start speaking a little bit louder when they're actually fighting something. So it doesn't matter. And I know myself and Kafak do it. Oh! Oh, that hurt. Close. That was also close. <laughs> Ramming attack. That's one way to get cockpit back. Come here. Ah, uh, so yeah, I. To be honest, I've got I've got no plans of making the weapons quieter. It's not something I actually want for my own games. Um, and as mentioned, the uh, sneaky sounds was sadly made for my own purposes, and it just so happened that a lot of people wanted it anyway. Around the thruster. No, it's going down. Victory is yours, Skeletor. I have a lot to learn about building fighters. Help low. Also, probably should have made myself immune to damage. Yeah, I, I get in this circumstance the loudness is probably um, a bit much, but that's more game volume than anything else. Yeah, yeah as I said, this is not. The issue is that I can't actually mess with stuff in OBS right now. I would have to kill the stream and restart the stream. Because OBS is not accepting mouse input. Um, otherwise I would have reduced the overall game PC audio. Which I think is what's needed here. Not uh, adjusting the gun fire audio. Because looking at the jetpack sounds and stuff like that. They're too loud too. I just can't actually fix it. Ooh. That's a lot of drones. Fuel low. Fuel critical. Um, yeah, I can't. It's really annoying. I, even using my touch screen to try and. Oh, no, it worked that time. It didn't work before. That's probably a bit better. <sighs> but yeah, as I said, I've got no plans to adjust weapon fire sounds in Sneaky Sounds. Because it's 
undesirable for most of my uses. Cool. That one works and is ridiculously overwhelming. Which does make me wonder whether I made it too hard. <laughs> That's only the medium difficulty. Let's try... Nah. Let's try the old favourite. There's unfortunately the modded version, so there are weird bits missing. Other one for some reason. Fuel critical. Okay. Let's try the Skeletor in this. Hopefully this will be an easy fight. Am I going to do an updated cockroach? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> the cockroach, to me, uh, I, it was a ship of its time and a ship of the conditions I was building it under, and I, I don't, I don't want to change that. I prefer to build something completely new than go back over and rehash stuff like this. As a general rule. Sometimes I'll still do it, but generally speaking. Especially something that's got a bit of um, sentimental value like the cockroach does. everything to target weapons. Then I'm going to see if I can disable that ship. Whoa. Come on, hit the Mayfly. Hit it. Disable it. Thank you. A little bit of armor damage, but nothing too drastic. Especially considering I've got exposed hydrogen tanks on this. The cockroach is not a um, particularly modern fighter these days. Modern bruiser. Interior turrets might be targeting thrusters. <laughs> but that worked. That was an easy fight with a ship this big. And that's what it should be. But the fight is not over.
It's only about to begin. My threat score is now 1400. So let's get one of these high difficulty ones. Uh, let's go with the... So I thought the Huh. Huh? Hmm. Weird. Uh, let's go a fresh maker. Fresh maker with some nasty drones. Okay, can my already damaged cockroach win this fight? Hey, Gros. Uh, going better, my back's less sore than it was when I started this stream. It's time to settle down a bit. <laughs> the cockroach would probably I think you'd have to get lucky with the teal terror to defeat the cockroach but you could get lucky because if your railgun hits one of the hydro tanks the cockroach is in trouble alright here we go these drones have heavier weaponry I'll try and take them down first be a lot more aggressive with the hydrogen thrusters with the new volumes in the hydrogen tanks. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dodge those rockets. One drone down. I'm quite okay if a cockroach style ship wins this battle. I think that's kind of reasonable. I've lost a couple more turrets though. More drones coming in. Three mosquitoes. One's down. Two down. Three down. Alright, let's go in. a bad thing. Oof. Misjudged the distance there. Uh, yeah, a lot of my turrets are interior turrets. It looks like I've defeated the fresh maker but I've got some new drones coming in so let's go take them down oh yeah that was quick oh yeah I better would have formula um the cockroach being a good platform for rotor turrets with the big wide space on top and being a bit of a pancake ship <coughs> it kind of works for mounting a lot of turrets on which was intentional it was part of the design to make use of that shape allowing me to put a lot of gunfire facing one direction the 
The thing that I really overbuilt on the cockroach, though, was redundancy. This thing has so much redundancy. I've already lost an Atmo thruster, but I'm fine. Like one of my big lifting thrusters, the one on the front left, is gone. The new turrets fit nicely in the spaces above the... Ah, uh, yeah, above the tanks and those little recess, recessed spots. Drones are doing little bits of damage to me, but nothing too drastic with this many Gatlings being brought to bear on them. Time for you to go down, Freshmaker. Time for you to go down. Mosquitoes coming in. Yeah, the railgun's a bit big for where the rocket sits at the front. You need to reshape the thing a lot to fit railguns, the railgun nicely into the cockroach. see that grass the railgun intruding into the cabin given its ridiculous length is there a uh, I was hoping there was a ACS base around here that I could launch this thing into to do that. Oh well, ramming time. Oh, it's going to go down now. The smoke trails do look awesome as it flails about. Oh. 
carpet back, get my carpet back. Oh, down it goes. Well, I feel like, um... I feel like that's actually a pretty good test of the difficulty levels. Like, actually capturing something like this once you reach high difficulty is going to take some skill and some uh, strategizing. Like, you're not going to be able to just do lots of damage to it. Guess I was closer to that hill than I thought. Um, you're not going to just be able to do lots of damage to it. You're actually going to have to go in there and take out the remote control block. Because otherwise the drones continuously spawning are going to run you out of ammo. Nothing else. Yeah, Graz, the, the cockroach's silhouette over the ground is one of those sites that I'm always... I think I'm always going to be envious of what, what we built with every new thing I built. Because it, it's just... It, it took the, um, the Matt Groening approach of being completely recognisable in silhouette only. Well, the damage that I've taken was predominantly from ramming. I didn't take too much damage before the ramming. And if I'd set this up in order to capture cargo ships, what I would have had was a camera so I could relative damp and then lock onto the thing. And then I would have just stopped, had all my turrets set to shoot any of the drones, so I shoot small grid only, and then gone aboard and tried to find that uh, remote control block as soon as possible. Splitsy's damage from I'd argue that sometimes my damage is intentional rather than carelessness. <laughs> Lords, you spelled Kabak wrong. <laughs> nice one, Tommaso. <laughs> uh, that's a good call. Uh, also, is Kabak still not round yet? Hmm. It's long past the time we normally start our snow runner stuff. <laughs> Yeesh, a warning would be nice next time. That scared me good. Maybe. <sighs> That's a hole. Um, I might message Kapak just to see if uh, he's showing up for SnowRunner today. Let's send him a text. Are you coming for SnowRunner? No, not rubber. Today. Yes, there are better ways to make a hole, agreed. Not necessarily more fun ways, but there are better ways. Cool. So I've done Atmo difficult Atmo ship difficulty. I guess I can keep going and get some spaceship difficulty while I wait to see if Capac's gonna show up. Uh, and then... 
see if I hear from Wasted. Yes, can I crashing into the ground for me in order to make a hole is a better method. I will wholeheartedly agree. Yeah, Wasted's doing some armor, so he's around. We're just both wasting both wasting on, both waiting on Capac. Uh, right. So we've got... I can get rid of the medium behavior. Don't need that open. Don't need high behavior open. Don't need Atmo open. Don't need drones Atmo open. Okay, now we can open the space equivalents of all of those things. <laughs> this wrong way up. Rude. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Hang on. Uh, sending Kapak a wake up gif. Because that was the thing I started doing. Yep, I'm sending him that one. I'm half tempted to send him a John Travolta one saying, Where are you at? See you, Gros. So spawn groups space easy. Why do we have a spawn group space medium already? Let's get rid of these threat score maximums because I don't want threat score maximums anymore. Made the difficulty spike a little too high. Well, it's funny you say maybe Kapak needs a lasagna because I just sent him a gif of Garfield smashing an alarm clock. Which seems so appropriate. Uh, if we don't hear from Kapak in like the next, I don't know, half an hour or so, uh, I think maybe today is the day I do my arc. Um, build stream. Because I suspect Wasted will be similar to me and not really want to do SnowRunner without having Kapak there. Um, with the two of us, depending on our moods, we can be either too organized or so thoroughly distracted by minutia that we get nowhere. Need that little element of Kapak random to keep us from our own, from being our own worst enemies. Because our worst enemy is him. Replace. Threat score minimum. Um, so I think for space, I'll leave, I'll go with the same numbers as I've got on the other ones. Splits, you get distracted, perish the thought. Yes. <laughs> oh, that dog waking up is exactly how Charlie looks when I wake her up in the morning. So she just looks at me like, what? Food? No, no food. Oh. 
I guess the gluten that binds us all. Oh dear. He'd probably be okay with that comparison. Uh, don't need easies. In fact, I actually do need this open because I need to get rid of all of this as well. But this one, I don't care if I leave an extra line in. There we go. No threat score maximum for the easies either. Next up, I need to look at my behaviors. No. I need to open my spawn groups for drones in space. I created the groups for the space ones, didn't I? Like the difficult groups? Or did I only go for medium difficulty? High difficulty. Monarch variants, locust swarm, and fight brightness goals. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that means I can go to behaviors. We can get our space easy behavior and I can copy it to make medium. Oh, hold up. There is something I need, I want to do to the Atmo spawn groups is I wanted to double up on the escorts. Hey, Drago. How's it going? Uh, I'm still trying to decide what um, what my next single player stream survival thing will be, so that I can make use of your. Uh, now available on at, on planets as well. Scanning mod. Because it kind of... I like the idea that I can get rid of ore markings on the surface. <laughs> <coughs> Have... With your, with your ore scanning mod for planets, would that work with deep ores? Oh, it'll find deep ores too. Awesome. I don't like the super deep from, like, the deep ores mods that are out there, but I like the... Um... Come on, brain. I like the idea of something a bit deeper than vanilla. I'm comfortable of editing myself if I decide to go that route. Survival series, The Hunt for Capac. Well, that's every week. I don't think there's a single thing I do with him where I don't have to remind him to show up. The joys. I haven't done a series on Triton yet. Yeah, Triton's a bit boring. It's all white and grey. I mean, I wear, I'm wearing a grey suit. But not ideal. We used to say you were Capac's partner. In reality, you're his mother. Sometimes it feels like it. It really does. It really, really does. Okay, space, medium, spawner. Let's grab... 
these medium spawn groups. Oh, hang on, should have copied this first. Just give myself lots of options. So let's add the wasp base pop drone variants. So like before, I'll keep the single ones for medium difficulty, so there's a, just a chance that you'll get worse. Um, as well as having the ones that carry multiple variants. But something I've got in the Atmo ones, which I don't have in the space ones, which I think I should add is some groups with mixed spawns. So let's replace this Firefly group and replace one of them with, say, a Space Wasp. Regular Space Wasps. Oh, why not? Locust. It's there. <laughs> Tommaso, i be honest, I haven't looked at anything related to Starfield, um, largely because any Bethesda game is going to be rife with overhype and overreaction. Like it's it's not gonna be it's not gonna be useful information until the game's actually released. So I I find it hard to talk about such things in any useful manner until it's actually been released. Add to wishlist, then ignore everything until released. Yeah, kinda. Kinda. I think that's... TFA, I think that's almost good advice for everything. Do your best to avoid getting caught up in any sort of pre-release hype. What have I done? Okay. That'll be enough extra drone, drone spawn groups. Because, yeah, pre ordering is a bad idea in general. I, I'm not targeting this, so these comments are not targeted at Bethesda, it's just generic, my generic feeling about um, pre-ordering and getting overhyped about games. It's, it's sad because it's kind of nice to every now and then be a bit excited about something. But the, the way that that excitement gets burned um, 
makes it really hard for me to justify getting excited about something. Particularly with reference to RPGs. Yeah, cache me. Um, wait, it's kind of... Bethesda games seem to be... Well, actually, let's broaden the broaden the net a bit. It's pretty common amongst AAA devs for games to be unplayable or near unplayable for a good proportion of the player base at release. Kind of like a new Windows. I never upgrade to the new Windows immediately because there's every chance that you'll be the person that everything won't work for. It'll work perfectly for a lot of people, but it, there's every chance you'll be the one it doesn't work for. Um, and that risk is not worth it to me. <laughs> so sometimes it's better to play these things later. Um, which again, sad. All right, let's take space medium behavior. Let's make space high. Oops. Yeah, I am. Um... I, I want to get excited about these things. I want to get excited about these games that... Um... Oh. I want to get excited about these games that are out there. But I just can't. Did that work? I think that worked, Drago. Try typing a message now and see if you've got the uh, the tag that I meant you was that I said you were supposed to have. <clears throat> yeah. Like, I'm I'm telling people don't get too overhyped about games, and yet I'm every time I see. Um, any development work getting done on Art of the Rail, I'm like, yes! Another Transport Tycoon style game I can play. It's just RPGs always make me go, because they always talk in such grand things. And it's, it's such as a, it's a genre of so much disappointment over the years that I really find it hard to get excited. Uh, but I say this as someone who, given my job, uh, is almost certainly going to play games too early for if I if it wasn't my job. Uh, let's grab the other. So there's the monarch, and then there's the locust swarm. Oh, and the fight break. I forgot about the fight break. Might actually need to create some extra options. Uh, so there should be two more, I think. So locust swarm. So once I've done this, we'll do another test in space with... Um, the cockroach and see how it handles a fight break. Uh, 
I'm just happy I never paid any money for Star Citizen. Um, Drago, I'm kind of the same. I think, um, unfortunately, they're just, yeah. Like, the last game I pre-ordered was Icarus. The previous game I pre-ordered to that, I actually don't remember. I did make one, oh, I've made a few horror, like horrible pre-order decisions in the past. Um, based on playing the previous version of the game and really enjoying myself and then ordering, pre-ordering the next one. And when it came out of being a horrible mess. On topic of question about ACS, are they going to have that fun thing where the ship gets close and turns off its beacon? Um, I don't think that's an ACS thing, Laws. I think that's possibly a weird targeting mechanic in SE. I don't feel as bad about pre-ordering based on a previous title, if and only if I think the studio deserves that much solely for the previous title. I think that's quite reasonable. Um, uh, my pre-ordering of... Uh, Icarus was based off Stationeers. Even though the development team was different, the development company was the same. Um, and Stationeers had delivered for me what I wanted to have out of the game. I would have pre-ordered the new Gina, June RTS because of being a fan of June. Yeah. Um, oh, it was the June RTS, not the... That's... So Shaq earlier was telling me about the... Uh, no, store. Wish list. Um, was telling me about... My brain... Starship Troopers. Where is it? It's the Terran Command. Capac was saying it's the June RTS that's getting co-op. That's the one. Um, Spice Wars? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's this one. In fact, I should probably just get that. We'll get that afterwards in case I accidentally give away payment details on stream, which would be bad. I would prefer not to do that. Um, yeah, the June RTS. That was the thing I was thinking of. I might message Shaq, actually. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right now I have a backlog of games to play so no ordering new games till I play them yeah let's not look at my Steam library and realise how many games I've never actually played is there are a lot of them uh, Lucas I think you've broken something I mean, I shouldn't assume that. It's probably me. But I think it might be on your end. I all said it was like 70 or 80% of games I never played or something. I wonder how much that figure is blown out by things like... Um, 
uh, buying game packs. Like, I bought... Like, I got a bunch of Star Wars games at once. I got a bunch of Tomb Raider games. I got all these Tomb Raider games as part of getting this Tomb Raider. It was all in a special deal, so I just got the whole lot. Can I send Lucas one of the affected spawn groups? Sure. Uh, any of them. All of them. Uh, where's spawn groups? Let's go. I'll give them the medium one. Oh, wait. This one. Da -da -da. Oh, yeah, and Humble Bundle as well. That's where a bunch of stuff was randomly come from, as well, too. Hey, you got it. Uh, I bought all these games so long ago that I don't think there's any way for me to get a refund. <laughs> I would also feel a little bit... Um... Yeah, that, that doesn't feel right. Hey, Puck. Like, that doesn't feel like a legit use of refund mechanics. Right. I need to now create a separate spawn group file for the high difficulty ones. Because we've got drones escorting all the medium ones. Oh, no. I need to do... Before I do that. I need to... Medium. Change the behavior of all these guys over to this one. Or well, some of them. Close that. Spawn groups. Cargo ship space medium. There we go. Uh, Lucas has a theory on my mod folder. That's concerning. That is very concerning. <laughs> that means he thinks I've broken something. Which means I've probably broken something. Oh dear. No. It's open in Discord. Fine. I delete it later. Whatever. Whatever. Be like that game. No, I mean Windows. We'll blame TFE. Oh, I like that plan, Lucas. I like it. I like it a lot. Blame the laggy to Tasmanian. Thanks, Del Sol. Include Zark. Ah, oh, Zark. I think I think what I just said then says everything. <laughs> uh, which one's this one? Hecate. That one can go medium. Columbus should definitely get the medium treatment. Uh, automated division, heavy transport. Yeah. You can get them. Nastia? <laughs> speaking of... Speaking of Zuckley. Hey, Zuck. How's it going? Uh, how you been? <laughs> Thanks, Airbus Flyer. Thanks for 12 months of Prime. 
uh, one year. <laughs> uh, Twisted one, uh, you Taswegians are fine. Um, it's just that specific Taswegian that I joke around with because he gives me as good as he gets. Cyclops, you can stay with easy. Deep Space Cryo, you get the harder one. And the upload failed on Discord. Fantastic. Try again. And Nat can stay with easy. Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> Tassie is the best, so says I and the other fella. I still haven't been to Tassie, but I do want to go and enjoy the food and other things down there. But a lot of the food, everything I hear about Tassie is really good food. You, you Tasmanians went with New Zealand when they left on the map. <laughs> oh, two such forgotten places. I get exactly the same result in a completely fresh world with just MES and Reavers. Change threat score to 200 and a 333 group of Reavers is eligible. Uh-oh. Yeah, it does sound like... It didn't feel like it was going to be something I did. But I'm never going to assume that it wasn't something I did. Skippy can stay easy. Sojourner can get the medium. Hey, thanks, Phantom Grits. Telesto Gas Hauler. That one can stay easy. Uh, the Grub, you were a bit chunkier. I think of Tassie and I think hiking, mountain biking, and snow in summer. <laughs> and high pings. Ah, here we go. Oh, I do have baby guppies escorting it. Nice. Uh, the guppies can stay as easy because they've got their little guppy families. Would be an interesting mechanic if you have a charging jump drive that makes you highly visible to Reavers. Yeah. I kind of leave this in light theme, I think, just to annoy people now, Jacarian. <laughs> it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Everything else is dark theme. Like, my Twitch is dark theme. My Discord is dark theme. It's just not notepad I'll have to test to see whether dark theme encodes poorly though because I have some fears that it may transport square can stay easy cargo transport this one can get more aggressive drones Uh, I've made so much progress today. This feels good. Well, yeah, Drago, it's the bigger, bigger as flat color do tend to be okay, but. Oh, what? Hang on. What does. Okay, Lucas needs me to test something. Uh, let me just finish this and then I will test it for him. Needs me to test whether the get eligible spawns thing is giving the same value as the get threat score thing. So, let's get all of the things and remove them. Let's get some daylight on the action. Uh... Slash mes.get get threat score. 
we are seeing 225. So what does get eligible spawns give us? Doop -doo -doo. Threat score for eligible spawns is the same. The halved value. The lower value, I'll say. I don't know if Lucas is actually watching the stream or if he's focused on reading stuff. Both. <laughs> okay. So yeah, the, the threat score is still reading the same at 225, but it is still showing no spawns because I think I broke the same thing. I appear to have broken something. Let me quick load. Yeah, some... Every time I've tried stuff with VS, I don't know what's happened, but it's not seemed easy. Something... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but Every time I try and use it, I'm just like, Critical. can't I just use Notepad? <laughs> I'm used to Notepad. Uh, can you remind me what that was, Caffeinator? What am I doing? That. Um, huh. Weird. What? What? Lucas, it seems to be working now. I'm not getting the high difficulty spawn. I'm not getting the spawns that are 450. Did you... Did... What? 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 I'm so confused. <laughs> Why aren't I able to reproduce this fault anymore? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yes, Notepad++. Indeed. Not just regular old Notepad. I ditched regular old notepad to be for very, very basic things uh, a long time ago. Right, now we need some high difficulty spawn groups. Spawn group space medium. Spawn group space high. Okay, control F, replace dash M with dash H. Yes, Lucas, you show up and then it starts working properly. That is correct. <sighs> Oh well. It is what it is. It is exactly like when you take your car to a mechanic. Uh, it is indeed. All right, now I have to decide which drones I want. So I'm going to move this over here. No. Yes. Uh, let's have a look. In fact, that's probably the wrong one to look at.
I want to look at the high behavior. No, I want to look at the simple behavior. Where is it? Oh, whatever. I don't know what I want to look at. I do want to look at spawn groups. I was hoping I could use a easier list from elsewhere, but no. Correct, Steel Shadow. No word from Capac. Um, so I might finish this phase of the mod off and then um, think about what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. What I might do is get some food, then come back uh, over on Flipsy and do Ark for the afternoon. That might be what I do. So, let's have a look at these ships. The Let's load this up in the thing so I can show which ships they are. Okay, so I know. There should be a good guy out there for some somewhere for noobs upgrading to VS Code from Notepad Plus Plus. There probably is. I didn't even think to search for that. Yeah, Black Shadow. Welcome to the world of trying to rely on Capac. I even sent him a message yesterday about whether he wanted to do some recording of a certain farming simulator game yesterday afternoon and got no reply. So yes, the joys I deal with. The joys. Alright, so we are starting with the... Akate, where is it? We've got guppies... Which one is that one? I'm struggling to remember which ship that was. Ah, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember now. Okay. So you can get... You'll just get a pair of fireflies, I think. And we might move these out a little bit further, just for space-based safety. Um, the Columbus. The Columbus is... This one. Which is all very... Rickety looking. Uh, very Minmata. <laughs> Will do, Lucas. See you, mate. Uh, I'll give it another Firefly as well. Pair of them, I think, suits for that ship. Automated Division Heavy Transport. That is... This one. That, I think, could use a Monarch. So, where's the Monarch? Just get one Monarch drone for it. Because they're a fair bit nastier. Light transport. You can just keep your single wasp. Um, Star Reader. You can keep your Firefly. Cyclops. The Cyclops. That's this one over here. <laughs> oh. Is this text message from Capac? No, it's spam. And it's pam and blocked. Uh. 
Typical. Cyclops hauler. Let's give you a wasp to go with your firefly. <laughs> Maybe capac management. Uh, I don't think he has, at least not intentionally, because he has um. He has replied to my text messages, or at least reacted to them, in a constructive way in the relatively recently. Wait, what? Oh, I did that on the wrong one. Oh well. This one can have it too. Deep Space Cryo Transporter. Let's double down on your fireflies. Now the one I'm looking for... And that can stick to that. Ah, here we go. The Valley Crucis. You, my friend, are getting something very different. You are getting a fight bright. You're going to get a large grid escort. Oh yeah. My suggestion was to add ACS commerce stations if MES allows it. If they have a safe zone, that would allow enemies to enter. No weapons are necessary. I, I get the feeling from stuff that TFE has told me that stuff like that is possible. Um... I I don't know how evolved the ACS interact like the MES stuff is with that side of things yet. I, I just like I just genuinely don't know how how much there is you can do with store stuff and things like that. Uh, Eisen, the baby guppy drones are already the escorts of the guppy. The guppy doesn't call in more guppies. It has guppies with it at the higher difficulties. There it's escorts. I think it's a good thought, Caffeinator. And I think, so with my goals for release thing, um, this... Uh, or... Consider alternate methods to buy standing. Uh, I think it's something I should look into after release and see what can be done. Because uh, I think it would be kind of cool. I think it'd be nice. I think something like that, using some method similar to that, would be good. Quasimodo. I think I'll just leave you with a single one. Moon Dance. Uh, you can get an extra wasp or something. So I seem to be predominantly using fireflies, so why, why not just have another firefly? It's fine. Oh dear, so at the higher difficulty levels, like 7-Eleven, there are big gulpies spawns. <sighs> uh, yeah, Capac Kat, has not replied to any of my pestering at this stage. So, here's MIA. So the the ships that I added the escort to are these two. These two are what are getting the fight bright escort. So they'll have a large grid drone escort them at the highest difficulty. 
Also, I just realized I'm upside down. Relative to those ships. Makes it relative to the whole lot. Hey, Dex. Um, we lack a capac, so the stream goes very space, en space engineers heavy. <laughs> and actually making some... Feeling like I'm making some pretty good progress on the mod today. Uh, I've almost finished the Atmo cargo ships and the space cargo ships, so that means the next stream I do, I can mess with uh, the bases on the planet which are going to be a bit more tricky and might need some actual building done. Which I'm okay with. Uh, the Grub can stay with just a single escort. And the Guppy. The Guppy can get an extra baby. Uh, minus 150. And this one can have two rocket ones. There we go. That'll spice up the guppies. Uh, Laws, that seems fitting that Beryl would say, my chat just said, and a lot of it would be you. Because <laughs> I feel like I use that phrasing a lot with things you say. <laughs> Hammerhead. Let's ah, leave it at one. Voyager. Which one is the Voyager? This one. Oh, yeah. Can double down on your fireflies. It's gonna be fun messing around with this and testing balance and everything over time. Now the prison ship. The prison ship should get a little bit of extra protection in the form of a wasp swarm of sorts. Transport square can stay at one. Cargo transport, I think, can stay at one. And the wasp can also stay where it's at. So the space wasps. The wasp can have more space wasps, or at least one variant of it can. Wow. So this is the re this is the text message reply I just get from Capac. Yeah. Snow running a little late. Wow. <sighs> Capac. Jeez. Cool. Uh, that should be all good. So, that means time to fight with a cockroach again. Laws, did you steal Capac's phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other option was to listen to text do a Florida slash Australian hybrid accent, and nobody is ready for that. That's true, Tex. That is true.
Get started without him? No. The problem with SnowRunner is we can't get started without all three of us being there because it breaks. Um, as soon as Kampak tries to join, he'll boot wasted out, then we'll have to do a full restart and it's all a big faff. Was that lightning or did I get shot at? It was lightning. It's weird. Uh, right. I need to go to space. Oh, I don't think you'll ever get Capac. Uh, I won't say never, but armor is really not Capac's style of game. There's a reason I've never played it with him, even though it is my style of game, because it's not his. Let's check our eligible spawns. Uh... Now I want to take on not the loot test ship space. I should probably get rid of that. I want to take on this. Spawn, space, cargo ship. Valley Crucis. Now the cockroach isn't the best space ship. It does have a decent amount of hydrogen top bottom, but its lateral thrust is kind of leaves you wanting. Also that... Oh wait, no. Uh, oh, I wonder what the range I set... Have I got a fight bright? There's no fight bright. It didn't spawn. Oh. Let's check. Where have I messed up? Oh, that's the behavior. Why me? Does it need to be further away? Refabs, vacuum drones. Fight bright. Huh. Why is it not spawning? It didn't spawn the monarch either. Did I get the wrong spawn? I think I might have grabbed the wrong spawn. I did, I grabbed the basic one. Dum dum. I'm done. That's the one I want. Here we go. There we go. We got a fight, bright. This fight could get interesting. This could get very painful. Uh, we've got Fight Bright, Monarch, and the Valley Cruisers to contend with. Alright, here we go. Let's have some fun. Let's have some Twitch fun. Prediction time! Start prediction! Who will be left 
standing. The cockroach. Or the Valley Crucis. Uh, actually, no, just two options. Just two options. I'll give you two minutes. Start your predictions now. And I I feel like Jackson, um may end up <laughs> putting a lot of points on the Valley Crucis in this one. Assuming he's allowed to, which I think he is. I just know that sometimes with the predictions it's a bit funny. I think if you submit as a mod uh, points towards a particular prediction outcome, you can't complete the prediction. It has to be done by the by a different mod. Wow. Not much faith in the cockroach at this point. 27,000 on the cockroach and 83,000 on the Valley Crucis. I'm not spending any more than necessary until I break 100,000. Fair enough. Jeez, it's still... Still a big amount of points on the Valley Crucis compared to the Cockroach here. The Roach versus the Valley. Who can win? 96.8 thousand. Oh, you are close, Jax. Very close. Just remember Splitzy is flying the Cockroach. What does that mean, Black Shadow? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, it's almost even now. 79,000 to 83,000. Oh, it's it's going to be a 1 to 1 like a 1 to 2 payout for whichever side. <laughs> All right, here we go. Flight is on. So I have to try and take out the Valley Crucis, which means taking out the Fight Bright and the Monarchs as well. So the, the odds are stacked against the Cockroach here. Apparently, according to Black Shadow, the odds are stacked against the Cockroach because of my flying too. Um, so the predictions in the countries where it's forbidden because of gambling, uh, you can now just pick an option and you get it, it gets picked for, like, you get to see the tag on your name, but you don't, you can't put any point value on it. Ooh, nailing the fight, right? Tore a hole in the middle of it. I think the fight bright's down. Alright, cool. Next target. That's one drone down. Let's take out this monarch. No, the monarch appears to be disabled already. Okay. Where's the Valley Cruises got to? Get back here. Mine. Just don't ram the other ship. <laughs> uh, if I can still maneuver properly after a ramming move, I think that counts as a win, but I'm going to try not to ram it. I guess one thing that um, is giving the cockroach a big advantage here is, unlike in Atmo, 
all of these guns are targeting very accurately. Is my cockpit being disabled count as lost? Yeah, I think so. Gatlings still do a lot of damage um, because they put out a lot of the high rate of fire means they the cumulative damage is quite significant. I have an idea of how I can say that I convincingly won this battle. It's time to grapple it. Uh, the Valley Crucis is set to target weapons for some of the weapons, or it was. Okay, now it's okay to ram the other ship. No, 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 no ramming. No ramming. At least no ramming in the way that you think. Have an idea. Slow down. Overshot. I wonder if this means I need to give the Valley Crucis... Well, the Valley Crucis is going to get some special um, behaviours in the future. It just doesn't happen yet. But I wonder if this means I can give it more guns. It certainly... Um, justifies my earlier thinking that space-based stuff can have far more nasty weapons and behaviours than the Atmo stuff can. Because this was a lot hard, much harder fight in Atmo. Here we go. Yeah, I've just got to implement the stuff from the Reavers mod into this TFA, that's all. Okay, I'm going to count this as a win if I can do the manoeuvre that I'm attempting to do here. I'm sorry, Jax. I'm sorry. This had to happen. pull that off like I thought. I was close. I was close. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Well, I think that was a pretty convincing win for the cockroach. Choose outcome. Cockroach. But it was a it was a loss for my flying.
<sighs> is the cockroach there? The cockroach is there. The cockroach is here. How much is left after those two hydrogen tanks blew up? Yeah, Mavlite, I think I think I should set the Fight Bright's guns to all target weapons. And maybe give it a few things that can target weapons. Oh, I only lost one hydrogen tank. Oh no, that wait, three hydrogen tanks. <laughs> three hydrogen tanks caused that damage. Uh, uh, if I put a cockpit on this, I should be able to fly it. As I said earlier, the cockroach had a lot of redundancy. It was meant to take damage. It was meant to go into a fight, get shot up a lot, win the battle, and then get repaired. Uh, that was how it was always supposed to behave. Because I, I knew... Because this was before we had shields in so I'm Unlikely, so I knew it was going to take damage. That's why it has so many guns, because I needed it to keep guns firing um, and not lose them all so quickly. So I piped it to fit all those guns, and in piping it to fit all those guns, I made a lot of piping redundancy so the hydrogen thrusters keep working for a long time. And despite a lot of damage. I can still fly. <laughs> I can still fly. Yes, it was designed to survive Splatsy. You're not wrong. Hey! Pinot Noir, I... Yes, the initial design was based off uh, welding two other ships together. However, I did gut the entire thing. And most of the armor doesn't actually match the Scrabbler that it was based off, except for the tail. And even bits of that don't. Um, so I, st I still I think it's fair for me to think of the functionality of this ship as my own doing even if the aesthetic design isn't but yeah this is this is precisely why Thumbs stole the cockroach If we were at a point where we had shields, the cockroach with shields would have been completely unstoppable. The power escalation I would have needed for the NPCs to have any chance against us would have been enormous and just kind of broke down any chance at having a rough scrabble for survival. It would have just been big gun versus big gun and whichever big gun hit first was the winner. So, yeah. It, it had to be done and I think I maintain that I made the right choice getting rid of the cockroach for the sake of the series as a whole. I think it almost made the cockroach more memorable that it disappeared in that way too. Made it more special. Right. Well, that's good news. That stuff is working. Um, let's just 
add a... Let's load up the fight bright and just change its weapon targeting. Oh, that's weird. I have no idea why your clip would have disappeared, Barrackstar. That is very strange. Um, Twitch gets pretty sensitive about anything that could be, like, a little bit insulting. Um, so if you use a name that could be taken that way, like, I can't do um, predictions where I call myself a jerk sort of thing. Uh, little things like that, Twitch just blanket says, nope, you're not allowed. You can't do that. No, no, no. Title was Asteroid 2, Splitsy 0. Yeah, that's weird. That shouldn't... Huh. I don't know. The link's still there, but it says something went wrong. We couldn't find that clip. Target options, weapons. So that's going to make the fight bright a much nastier opponent. Just being able to take out the player's guns early will make such a big difference with it. Um, that's all the turrets. The turrets are the only thing that I can target that way. These are controlled by Lucas's stuff targeting in, MA in, in MES. If I can ever get my words out. Uh, they're not actually controlled by any sort of based targeting. Let's see. No, the, the clips aren't working. That's weird. That's real weird. That's unfortunate. I would have liked watching that explosion again. <laughs> it was fun. Wonder if Kampak's ever going to show up in uh, TeamSpeak or if he's just going to sit there hovering sheepishly online but not actually joining. Woo! Did you seriously just walk into chat as I said that? Were you watching my stream? I was watching your stream, yes. <laughs> yeah. Trying to be all mystical and spooky and clever and I see right yeah, through. I, I, I like to wait for an appropriate segue to insert myself into the conversation. <laughs> so I provided you with the segue you required? Yeah, by talking about me. <laughs> Typical. What, what if I'd put this up on stream? Would that have been a segue for you? Yeah, that would have worked as well. Mm. Uh, have you spoken to Wasted? to apologize for being an hour and a half late. What? Yep. What do you mean, what? I don't usually get started till this time anyway. That's not true. It is. No, we normally get started about an hour ago, but we start catching up about an hour and a half ago. Oh. Um, Got an ad on Wasted's channel. While while I wait for Capac to sort out that side of things, chat, can you think of anything I'm missing from the space cargo ships at this point? I've got medium difficulty where there's escorts and higher difficulty spawns. Then I've got high difficulty where there's extra escorts and nastier spawns, which is kind of all I wanted. I think. I don't think I wanted to add anything else that was 
Maybe I should go back to the Atmo ones and add a few extra spawn drones, actually. That's what I need to do. Because uh, I think that's all the behavior I wanted to do. So we've done the higher difficulty drones, we'll get rid of that. Add large grid drones for space only, get rid of that. Um, select high difficulty spawns for inhibitors. Haven't done that. A capac is neither early nor late. A capac arrives precisely when he finally gets irritated with Splitzy's GIF messages. Uh, one of the space drones does have a railgun. A small grid railgun. I'm not game to put a large grid railgun on any of my ships yet. What is Wasted's stream name? Stream title. Uh, a trip to Cam Lao Nam before the Aussies arrive. Uh-huh. Ah, oh dear. Well, you can um, you can sort out getting wasted here and out of armor. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. Cool. So that's done. Uh, no starburn. There is no way to de-escalate hostilities at this stage. That's something I'm gonna work on after I release the mod, so people can start. We can start getting some balanced feedback and the like. Oh, that's a problem. I think I have some of these things spawning on top of each other. I'm going to have to check through them all at some point. Or just be told, when this particular ship spawns, I keep getting explosions randomly happening. <laughs> Uh, Balder, there's a variety of things. I'm sure someone will drop a link in there in a second of how you do the multi-twitch stuff. Although, Capac, if you go and start your pre-stream, we could start... We could see if we can actually do the... squad stream. Right. My pre-stream is running. Add a channel. Capac, I'm alright. Because then at least people on um, mobile can do it. I've sent you an invite. Have you gotten the invite? Uh, if you click start squad scream, squad scream, squad stream, you can yep. then click on invites. I see it. Invite, accept. Start squad stream. There you go. Squad scream! Yes. Uh, Atmo, Atmo, Atmo. Close that. Close that. Close. 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 Um, spawn groups at Mo High. That's what I wanted. What's drone cargo ship? Um, yeah, let's make this even more annoying. Bison can get a wasp as well. So 
this is what I'm doing at the moment is adding extra escort ships. Oh, that's the wrong behavior. That could have been bad. So I'm adding ex extra escorts uh, to the cargo uh, ship spawns. What's uh, what's going on? Well, Star Runner just popped up a message mm -hmm. saying that save games from previous versions may no longer work. You've got to be kidding me. Good evening. So this hey. could be a short trip. Wasted. Um, did you hear what Kavak just said? No, I joined just for the end of it. Kavak, do you want to say it again? I just booted up SnowRunner and it said that save, save files from previous versions may no longer be compatible. Uh, it does say may. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... As, from what I... From what I saw of their patch notes, it was to do with... Um, save issues on Xbox and PS5. So that might just be a blanket message. Like the most recent hotfix was specifically fixing save issues on those two platforms. Uh-huh. Well, Splitzy is the master of the save file. <laughs> I am loading up the game now. Is he the master of the save file, though? We will find out. Um... I guess this save file is probably more like a cat. I own it, but I am not its master. Yeah, that, that I can believe. <laughs> this is a good description of SnowRunner in general. Yeah. In fact, it's one of those cats that frequently spends large portions of the week at someone else's house. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I like the food there better. They've got better food and scratches. I just come around to you occasionally just to make sure I've got other options. All right, starting the session, um, I'll do a proper intro when we're actually in. Does that sound good to everyone? Sure. Because <laughs> I think I think we know that this sometimes doesn't go as smoothly as we'd like. Uh, I need to go online on Steam just in case, and then I need to switch to this screen while I look up the code to send to you two. Oh, how convenient. It's actually a speakable code again. And now I can transition back. Now we hope the other two can join. Oh, I got a loading screen. That's positive. And I'm out and about in my truck. Hooray! How are you going with the joining process, Wasted? I had to rush like a lunatic to go and plug my steering wheel in as I hold you, heard you say start session because I knew that we were on a time limit at that point. Oh, right. Yes, of course. I have, I have never got it plugged in that fast. But we are now. <laughs> Although the pedals need to be moved because they're currently holding a box down for my other pedals. <laughs> um, I, I know you don't normally do it, Wasted, but I've, um, I've set up a squad stream with Capac and sent you an invite. If it is something you want to do, it's not a case I don't normally do it. It's just like frequently what the people I'm streaming with. It's not a case I don't normally do it. It's involve like people that can't do it. The people I'm. Why can I hear you? Again? What have I done? I don't normally do it. In, in game comp, maybe. The people I'm. Why can I hear you? Again? What have I done? I can hear me. In, in game oh dear. Maybe. Dream running, maybe. <laughs> can hear me. No. Oh dear. Dream running, maybe. <laughs> can hear me. No. It's not. 
coming from me, I don't think. Oh, Just judging what? by my TS thing. It's not coming from me, I don't think. What is happening? Oh, Just judging oh, by boy. my TS thing. It's not coming from me, I don't think. What is happening? Just judging oh, by boy. my TS thing. <laughs> oh, this is breaking my brain. Oh, boy. Oh, this is breaking my brain. It's not coming through TeamSpeak, that's fine. So it's definitely on my end. It's not coming through TeamSpeak, that's fine. So it's definitely on my end. <laughs> ah, it's such a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> what in the multitude of audio game. rubbish that's going backwards and forwards is the causing the problem this time. Rubbish that's going backwards and forwards. Oh, I think I... Yep, I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. Somehow, Twitch had turned its audio on in my stream manager. Um, so that wasn't ideal. There we go. You use OBS, don't you? Yeah. You don't um, use the built-in stuff in OBS? Uh, for chat and stuff like that? Yeah. No. Okay, fair enough. Um, because I've got my I've got my stream manager view up on my main PC, like my game PC on the separate screen. Um, and that allows me to actually do moderation stuff. We just, I, last I used it in OBS, you couldn't do moderation from OBS. Um, so you had to you had to have proper Twitch opened uh, to be able to do it. Are we all in? Wasted looks like he's I'm in the in. garage. I you am in. You? The um, Both my trucks are outside for people to be able to use. Cool. Uh, is everyone good if I do an intro then? Uh, hang on, let me come out and join you. I, I want to come out and join you first. Wait, you got, wait, wait, wait. No, no, you got time, you got time. Chill, chill, chill. Because <laughs> Partly because I expected this might be a thing as well. Controller, no wacky. Oh. Oh, um. What do, do we need to do a restart or what? It's going to need to be a relaunch, yeah. Sorry, guys. That's okay. It means I need to go and unplug all my other stuff in order to get it to work, basically. I'd kind of hoped that I'd found a way of fixing this, but. Nope. Everything else in the PC needs to be unplugged in order for it to just see the steering wheel. Yep. Do you want to, um,. See if you can rejoin. I'm just going to take a quick bio break and then I'll um, restart if we have to. Roger that.
and back. Alrighty. I um, guess we're just still just waiting to see if Wasting can get in. You were just in time, sir. I am on the connecting or searching for session okay. to see whether or not we got lucky. And if we didn't, then we do a restart. I'm looking. This is looking hopeful so far. Yeah, I think oh. this is good. Oh, Wasted, you should have a quick look at my stream if you get a chance. I think you'll be amused by my Be Right Back screen. Uh, one second, I don't want to disturb it yeah, while I it's know. in this state. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe if I press Alt Tab or Escape or something, it, it, it cancels the loading process. If it's loading, I don't know, it's now stuck at the end, so maybe it's not. Not happening. Sorry. That was probably expected. Uh oh. <sighs> what? There's a broken cab back as well. Cab back, you there should you exit right out to like exit the game entirely. such a pity we don't even get to take advantage of the fact that um the steam code doesn't change because we always have to do a restart which means i always, we have, always to have to change it anyway yeah mm. <laughs> has joined. Fingers are crossed. Crows are crowing. <laughs> Squawking? I don't know. It's not a pleasant noise, I can tell you that much. No. I mean, it's better than the, the seagulls, foxes, but, but it's still bodies. better than seagulls and foxes. But oh, it's better than possums. Those things sound horrific. I have no idea what a possum sounds like. I imagine it's a bit like a fox, which basically sounds like a child being murdered. A little bit. I was actually going to say, imagine five-year-old Capac trying to break into something to get at a sandwich. Because they're always scratching at things and just squawking and desperate. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wasted, you're in. Capac is in. I'm here with my two trucks. Wasted's pulling up rather rapidly. Okay, cool. Uh, have you seen my stream, Wasted? No, sorry. Let me go. Have, have a, a quick look. look. I think you'll be amused. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> it took a while to set a camera up so it did, the bodies didn't float. So you it. could green screen the background there mm -hmm. as well. Mm 
-hmm. That's quite clean. I did the green screening in Premiere so I could get a really clean one. And so I took the dodgy green screen out with Premiere, then put a perfectly clean green screen in that then OBS could work with. So it's uh, pretty good. I'm pretty proud of that one. Uh, He's learning me tricks. I am learning your tricks. <laughs> I listen. I listen. And I, I know learn. where that came from. I listen that's, and I that, learn. That's stream effects in action. What? Switzy did an intro. No, I haven't done an did intro he? yet. I don't think you did. No. Go on. Huh? Somebody okay. in my chat said that you'd already done one. No. I have to do my my stop stream start stream thing so that I can um. Oh, we, well, that's, that probably won't 